anything. So I don't know and, if it's actually. And what about now? And, and you're live. We're live. Yeah, we're live. There we go. Hello, Hello. everyone. Guys, it's finally the end of the month, <laughs> which means we finally get to have our ta happy hour tasting. Yes. Happy well, happy hour, everyone. Happy 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 hour. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the happy hour. Uh, that will fu the future wrap party for this here little channel we got special for you guys because you are what makes this show possible. So party with us. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's start with a quick sound off. So say hello well, let's, if let's you're adjust in the chat. The, uh, let's address that there's someone else in the room. Oh yes, yeah. there's another person <laughs> in the room. <laughs> I just go right into my spiel. <laughs> First off, yes, you're not seeing anything. We have a guest today, Victoria Coleman. She's come to us from Lobo Wines. We're gonna get into all the fun details with her about why she's here, what we're doing, but. Just know that we're we're tasting wine and we're making it a educational process for yeah. a change. And we're gonna pay attention this time. Because we'll go to wine tastings and we'll by the time you and I make it to a wine tasting, it's the end of the work day. And we're just like, yes, yes, oh yes, we're learning things. And then we're just by the time we're done, we're like buying bottles Slap and just drinking. happy and buying bottles. Yeah. We're just we're I always we're walk out with an arm sugar. full of wine. <laughs> we're flying high on sugar. We're exhausted from the day. We're they keep handing us wine. I don't know why they keep doing it. <laughs> Anyways, sound off. Nellie's gonna say hi. And again, if she mispronounces your handle, that just means that oh, I've seen new ones. That just means that you're part of our group. I see a new name in there. Go for it, Nally. Okay, I had to scroll up because we took too long. All right, I'm just going to start right here. Hi, Alex B. Hi, Rusty Squid. Hello, Kamikaze Steve. Stephen Brown is in the house. Florence Pye is in the house. Hi, Florence. Uh, David Faith. Hello, Shannon West. Hello. Amanda's here. Hubert's here. Do, do, do. Blair. Hey, Blair. Blair. Happy couple month. Uh, <laughs> Jason Boak is here. <laughs> Gary's here. Summer hey test. Hello. Sorry, Wally626V. Just going to throw that V <laughs> on the end there. 626V. E. Yerbach is here. Ed Keaton is here. Joseph Mascari. Mascari. I think that's how I'm going to say that. Joseph Mascari. Yep, that's it. Hello. Joseph, welcome hey. to the club. Hello, David Fakas. Because? I think it, it, no, it's, I think it's called <laughs> Fikas. Fikas. Uh, Den Car's here. Johnny Ringo's here. Hello, hey, Johnny. Kevin Reed is here as well. Hello, and Mudman. And Ben is here. I think hey, I got all the things. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Excellent. a very, very, very special happy hour where we are happy. going to try all of these. Wine. You are so brave. I would have dropped one of those in my lap already and gotten red wine all over my dress. That's what would have happened live on camera. And then I would have ended up in one of those clip reels of failed live streams. Okay. Yes. So yes, today is a very special wine tasting. Uh, we have been sent these amazing bottles from Lovo from Wolf Vineyards and we're going to try them. And Victoria is here and she's going to lead us in a virtual wine tasting. Before we get started, I would love to know if any of you guys managed to get your hands on this as well, because knowing who else is playing along would be really, really fun. Or what mm -hmm. are you drinking? Because that's also, it's very it's important to me to know what you're <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I'm just that nosy. All right, so um, Victoria, I'm going to turn over to you real quick. Victoria, welcome to our happy hour, the least professional hat live stream on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> it's true. Uh, why don't you uh, tell us a little about a little bit about yourself, real quick, before we get rolling? Yeah. So I've been in. I'm a Seattle native, um, and I've been in Napa for just over 20 years. And I started. I was studying computer science when I moved from Seattle, and I got a job at Stag Sleep Wine Cellar. So that's where I cut my teeth on wine. Okay. Some of the best. Oh, wine. okay. Yeah. Um, and I had the opportunity to work as a production assistant to the winemaker, and that's I shifted into the culture and enology. Did my degree at UC Davis, and had been making wine for this will probably be my 16th vintage, but my 13th going in for Lobo. Oh, oh wow. wow! So uh, Lobo wines, they. Uh, began producing in 2007, the Pinot Noir, and it's owned by Randy and Chris Wolf. Um, they're Bay Area, pretty much natives are from Stockton originally. And my they've from got- Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to ask later yeah. if they know. <laughs> so um, 
They've been, uh, they've got two properties, one which they live on, on Atlas Peak, and we do a Cabernet from that property. And then we have the vineyard that's Valley Floor, which is North Napa. And that's where all the other wines, we do about uh, seven wines, 2000 case production. And I'm the red winemaker in addition to the oh. rosé and their shark oh. is made by another winemaker for now. Oh, I didn't so, know. Is that, a, is that a common thing for one person to do the reds and one person to do the whites? No, I don't think so, but it's, that's how it started. They actually had someone else doing the Pinot and I started with them doing Cabernet and then I took over the Pinot in 2013. So 2008 was my first vintage with them. And wow. Now we have Merlot, Two Cabs, Syrah Blend, crazy. Well, and then you also had a, the, 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 your last Cabernet was was on the cover of, uh, so that's your Cabernet then. Right. Um, on the cover of Decanter Magazine. How lucky was that? Yeah. Well, that's lucky. Awesome. I think it's a part of a, like, prestige. Like, I don't think it's luck that lands you on the cover of Decanter, <laughs> but. I was at home in Seattle. Uh, with family and a friend of mine sent me like a screenshot on Instagram of the so I wake up in the morning I'm like what because that bottle you just showed it's hard to see kind of the label the um mm -hmm. the Napa cab and so I was like what is that and then I like <laughs> pay for this promotion <laughs> but no it yeah it was very nice to land that score it was a 96 with a couple other wines but Lobo came alphabetically, so we're at the top. Wow, congratulations. That's <laughs> awesome. Congrats. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, cool. And then we got in touch with Lobo Wine because our friend, uh, uh, David Ficus, whose name I was just making fun of, um, not making fun, I was making fun of myself. And anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, put us in touch because it's a family friend. I don't really know what the, uh, I think the the daughter, is there a, a daughter or sister I'm, involved somewhere? I'm, like. <laughs> I He's know the daughter's that friends. Their okay. daughter in law is connected. Oh, okay. So I yeah. It's kind of about in that sense. Um, yeah. Where we share the wine with several people in Southern California. And this came from that, I believe. Yeah. And we are reaping the benefits right now. <laughs> we are always happy to reap the benefits of our friends and when their it comes connections. in the form of wine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Great. All right. I guess, shall we begin our education today? Yeah. Yes. So let's, just a little bit still about this vineyard. It's sure. uh, northernmost Napa. Uh, so it's right south of the town of Yachtville in the valley. And so okay. it's, we grow uh, four different grape varieties there. And it's a sub-appellation called Oak Knoll. So it's not known for like, one grape in particular because it grows many things very well um, just because mm -hmm. of the microclimate. So we've got like the afternoon cooling from the San Pablo Bay because we're gonna taste a Pinot at some point and there may be four at most Pinots from Napa. Um, oh. And I think out of this sub appellation. So we have cooling that makes it so that we can grow Pinot. Um, right. And we can also like with Cabernets and the Raws, because it's not as warm as north of here, um, St. Helena or Oakville, Rutherford, mm -hmm. Calistoga. Um, we can allow for longer hang, hang time for optimum ripening. So we get really good flavors and not okay. too hot of weather patterns. So um, that's where this vineyard's located for the first wine. Um, which is the Rosé 2019. And so this project, this. I'm so excited for you. Yes, <laughs> I'm so excited about the Rosé. This is, one of my have, favorite ones. you guys want to see, I mean, it's harder to see because our backgrounds are going to take it out of focus, but we've yeah, got like, this put it on my, put on my clothes. Yeah. 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 It's this beautiful color. Rosé of Pinot Noir. Color. And um, it kind of came about because I don't like, I, not that I don't like, I'm, I'm not a fan of rosé necessarily. And so okay. a lot of the rosés that are made here, they tend to be maybe um, left with residual sugar or higher 
riper when they when it's when the fruit is picked so the alcohols are a little bit higher so for me it's they're not always very well balanced and so okay. what happened was i just took some juice from the actual red wine of pinot just as a an experiment and diluted it you know with water to get lower sugars and probably add a little acid and made 15 cases and randy and chris had gone to provence like the year before and um so when i showed them the wine they were like you're going to do this again next year so now we we actually dedicate dedicate grapes pinot noir um to this wine and we do whole cluster pressing and we pick very early so we have low sugars so we have low alcohols um, the flavors, the good acidity, the bright acidity, the, most of the wines have, all the wines actually have great acidity. But um, so I just started making this wine for sale commercially in 2016, I believe. 15 was just like a, an experiment yeah. in the cellar um, that they and didn't know it was until it went to the bottle. <laughs> and it's been a hit? Like, so you're going to continue? It has been because it's different. Um, I was saying like the color is just, you don't have many that are very pale in color. So I don't add back if I don't have to, to try to adjust the color, it can lose color um, for the six months that we're aging. So it's, you know, short aging mm -hmm. in barrel and, um, and stainless oh, wow. steel. But um, so it's one of, it's my favorite wine to drink. I got two cases at bottling and like blew through it right away. <laughs> <laughs> And I have a wine fridge and that's all I put into it. And then I just like cracked. Now we just started, uh, we started last year with the twist cap, the screw cap. So now yeah. it's even more easy you know, to get. <laughs> and there's nothing slowing you, you down. Slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to, I'm going to crack this bottle open and yes. pour a little bit. Oh, it smells delicious. Just a wee bit in there. Okay, so mm, no, let's let's so let's good. let's let's teach us professional wine tasting. Like, am I? I'm smelling it really I, deep in there. I've seen know. sideways. <laughs> I have not seen sideways. What? I'm gonna go over here now. Yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh. I know. So when you oh, when good. you smell it, when you first smell it, before you swirl it, it's more the um, it's the aromas that are like more volatile. I, I, volatile i guess okay um, that come out of the glass firsthand and you mm -hmm. like maybe you get strawberry i don't okay. uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of red cherry i also sometimes get watermelon as well oh i the, could see the watermelon yeah yeah it's like the muskier of the fruit like uh, that good earthy and, musky yeah super super geeky you sometimes take like a piece of white paper and you look at it first before you see <laughs> So that your eyes don't no, anything white. You white balance. You don't white balance. Oh, white balance it. I'm like, where do I have paper? <laughs> you think I would have paper near here? <laughs> okay. So, what's the next? What's next? Um, oh, white. So I don't have any I'm white paper. I'm just trying to show the the color. Oh yeah, that is yeah. very. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, you can, can see put much it against Tara's her. skin, and you can tell too. You could, yeah, as pale as I am. Cheese <laughs> and crackers. <laughs> It's the quarantine, man. I don't get the outside of it except for like an hour a day. <laughs> and the sunset's not doing it. It's not helping me. I wish I was in the vineyard with you two. <laughs> um, so you swirl it to force out those that are mm -hmm. the aromas that you, you wouldn't otherwise smell unless you pour them out. I was going to say, it's a very oh. different smell after swirling it. And I so almost got it, it in my nose. Like a little bit of stone fruit. Like white nectarine. I love that term stone fruit. I just think that's such a beautiful set of words. Side note. <laughs> so go ahead and taste it. Taste, I get to taste it. I'm getting so good. excited. No, okay. Now I can. Now I can. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's that so is, soft. I would say it's so easy. Yeah, that's just, yeah. it's, it's no. very, very, very soft. No it's wonder you can blow through a case in this really it fast. A nice creaminess to it, the creamy. Yeah. Flavor. And um, we try to create that in the cellar because I know that I tend to pick with the acids are pretty high. Um, yeah. The sugars are low, but 
we do some uh, lees stirring in the barrel to create some texture. And okay. um, I think also with, so lees stirring like um, dead yeast. Um, okay, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, also, I think with some of the aging in barrel, it tends to soften the, the exchange of the oxygen, the gas. It mm -hmm. tends to soften the wine and um, stabilize the color. So. Yeah, I, yeah so I really soft. just, I could see, I could see blowing through this because it is, and especially like in the summer when it's warm, this is a mm -hmm. really, really nice. Oh my God. And this is how Justin and I gauge wines when we go wine tasting is, would everybody at a party like it? And I think, I don't think anybody would not like this. Like this is yeah. one of those that'd be very easy to bring to a party and have everyone enjoy it mm -hmm. versus, you know, it, I think it fits within most palettes because it's not, not too. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not as 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 white as the whites are. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like it's not as heavy right. as the reds are. It's not as light as the whites are. It's yeah. somewhere in the middle. Yeah. And you can easily give this a gift to somebody, no matter like if you don't know their wine preference. This is like a good gift. Mm -hmm. to, it's like a middle ground mm -hmm. gift. We're like, oh, you're gonna like this because it's so like easy to drink. That's great. I, I love it. this. Mm -hmm. Wait, so now mm -hmm. what am I supposed to be ta saying I taste? Because yeah, I've always, right. I went to, oh, so I went to a wine store. We went, no, it wasn't a wine store. It was a wine restaurant that was called Uncorked or something like that. And they were like, okay, so explain, like, it gave me a, a, some wine and then was like, tell me what it is you like or dislike about it. And as I did this, I went further and further away because I can't speak wine. And so it kept bringing me another thing and another thing and another thing was just not what I wanted whatsoever. Finally, I had to go, uh, I like pinot noirs and he's like why didn't you say that I'm like well i thought we were playing a game like, <laughs> so i don't my wine terminology is terrible so i couldn't begin to explain to people what i'm tasting i feel well i feel like for this wine for me it's um so of course you know the fruit aspect of it but it's also got a lot of minerality to it mm -hmm. um and it's it's lean but it's got like a creaminess to it you know it's it's not yeah. like a, a, a like a, a rich a rich rosé i guess you know what i mean it's very mm -hmm. clean mm -hmm. yeah, yeah um, clean is the only word clean. i can never like go oh it's clean <laughs> I, know, I have a friend who gives me such a hard time about like my descriptors of like nice the only time <laughs> you say what what you what's familiar to you about it you know like yeah. what you may find familiar to you mm -hmm. i may not find familiar and mm -hmm. you see it in the wine and you can pick it out in the wine and so yeah describing the wines we're trying to describe like something hopefully what's familiar to me but also what you may pick up in the wine if you're like pushed into that direction yeah you know because okay. can i use delicious as a descriptor does that <laughs> does that count yeah. <laughs> i taste so deliciousness <laughs> the word i'm looking for delicious <laughs> and pour more <laughs> right that is really really good i quite so I, good that i highly recommend that that lived up to my my hopes and dreams for it because i've been staring at the bottle like i can't wait i'm so excited mm -hmm. about the idea of it and that that was really good i like that a lot and so Fan. And I feel like it's got like a little saltiness on on the finish like it Ooh, doesn't oh, uh -huh. leave your you know i can still taste it yeah what would you would you have a pairing recommendation for foods with this i'm so bad Let's see. I've had it with burgers. <gasps> yes. Um, if it's a wine I can eat with, or I can, it's a wine I can pair with a burger, I'm all in. <laughs> That's my kind of wine. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying, I don't know what I had with, I mean, I just had it over the weekend too. So you know, like, I could see like apricots I, being really good with it. Like apricots and blue cheese come to mind. I don't know why. It's a weird combination. <laughs> I know Natalie just stops. She just stops. No, I love I, I love like cheese. when you eat like a piece of fruit and then like a piece a piece of uh, blue cheese on a cracker. I love blue cheese like those or like a a summer salad like that where there's like 
it's a summer salad with like pieces of fruit in it. Like mm -hmm. that salad I make now with prunes in it. Have you ever eaten that? I don't think you have. No. Oh, it's so mm -hmm. good. It's a raspberry vinaigrette Ooh. with prunes and flowers and it would go uh, really good with this. A ras Justin makes a good sa uh, summer salad. It's raspberry vinaigrette with steak and I think strawberries Ooh. in there that this would be awesome. yeah. amazing with. Yeah. That would go really well with this. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, I, I love it. Really, they, mm -hmm. Lobo always asks when we do our tastings together, and my one of my main staples is potato chips. And so I'm always like, everything goes with salt, I feel like. Yes. And, That's but, okay. I just thought of a new episode, Tara. We need to figure out pairing with different kinds of chips. So, like, what <gasps> wine goes with Doritos? Chip with what, what wine? wine goes with Lay's? <laughs> That's chip. high load, road, low road right there. <laughs> Perfection. The, the important question is the Dorito question. What is the perfect wine to pair with Doritos? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. I don't know. That I have that, a feeling you're really going to say it's going to, I have a feeling it's going to be a Pinot Noir for you. No, God, that sounds terrible together. <laughs> Sorry, Nick? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are we ready to move to the next step yeah. of this, this, this journey? So yes. Yeah, so uh, so the Pinot Noir is uh, next. Okay. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. We have a 2016 Pinot Noir. I like to say Noir. Noir. Because it is. And I have a clean glass, and I'll just keep this one right here and drink from this. <laughs> so um, I just quickly wanted to point out really quickly uh, mm -hmm. the label. So the Pinot Noir was the first wine produced by Lobo. And the label was designed by their son, who he's an art school teacher, oh, yeah? but also um, a graphic designer. So mm -hmm. he started the label, and we went from paper label to silk screen, which is what we've got we've had for the last maybe since 2012, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and so the wolf pups. When they're born, they're born with blue eyes. And since this is their first wine. Oh, really? Um, I didn't know that. And oh, that's, oh, I didn't even notice the different colored I eyes. I mean, I know like, I noticed the eyes because I got sent files with like blue eyes, red eyes or whatever for the descriptors. Like, oh, they have different color eyes. But I didn't know that's so oh, cool. That's, that's cute. That's such it. a good story. <laughs> they age, you know, they have that's like, cool. Cool. Maybe green eyes, didn't know eyes that... amber eyes, and so the cab has the amber eyes. Yes, oh. that was the cab has precious metal, which looks like jewelry, which is like the most beautiful label. I don't have a bottle. I do have a bottle. Here. I'll show it to you after we get through. Okay. <laughs> that we'll do. We'll do. We'll show you guys side by side too. That's that's really cool. I love thoughtful details like that. Like that. Yeah, so that's the neat. Chardonnay started, I think, with yellow, and then moved to the precious metal as well. So. And that's I think fun. I, like, low, that has cool. Green. Yeah, that's great. I like that. That's cute. Um, All right. So this wine I took over in 2013. I didn't want it just because I told you no one makes Pinot out of grapes from Napa. And right. so when they approached me, I was like, no. <laughs> so um, they haven't fired me yet. <laughs> Very happy. But we produce about um, between anywhere from 200 to 300 cases of this wine. Most of the grapes are sold off to mum for their sparkling wine program. And we just select rose to keep our, 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 our Pinot Noir. Um, yeah, so going into this, so this is my fourth mm -hmm. try at it. <laughs> Oh, oh man, yeah. it smells good. It smells That's... almost like a campfire. And oh it's... wow, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I love that smell. I think with what I get, when you say campfire, there's like this toasty, it's almost like toasted marshmallow. More mm, yes. This too. Ooh, yeah, a sweeter camp. Yes, it is. That's yeah, a sweeter it. campfire. It's not a like a sweeter you know, campfire. It's mesquite or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you're right. You're so right. Oh, it is, I it's, love it's that smell. Pretty sweet smell there, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could live in that smell. <laughs> um, a candle of the smell. They should make candles of this smell. I think, I think all wineries should also make candles. 
And so uh -huh. you can have your favorite candle, uh -huh. your favorite wine candle. Uh-huh. Brilliant idea. Write that <laughs> down, crowd. Saving <laughs> lives. Okay, now I'm swirling and then smelling swirling. again. <laughs> of course, you get like a lot of the red fruits that, that typically come. Um, you get like red cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. There's a little bit of like forest floor, like an earthiness to this. It's more of a savory mm -hmm. style than. Mm -hmm. I also get, and you say like, like that sweetness is like hard candy as well. Oh, I love that. I love that smell. Forest floor. Anytime there's forest floor on the descriptor, I'm like, yep, give me that wine. I want that <laughs> wine. Anytime there's what That's on mine. the descriptor? Forest floor. I always see I that. that like, she just said it. I just, your earbud <laughs> fell out, so you didn't hear it. <laughs> You missed it because literally you couldn't hear. <gasps> no, but like hear. we've gone to wine tastings before that where forest floor has been like the, in the description of the wine. I'm always like, yep, that, that's for me. Give me that wine, that's whatever that is. Give me gamey mm. meat and give me forest floor wine. For whatever reason, my right earbud's not working and that's the one that fits well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know. know. Technology. Sauce. All right. We'll blame the sun. Oh, it smells delicious. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 your earbud fell out again. We already tasted. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I mean, I'm a big Pinot Noir fan. Like that's my go-to. Pinot good. Noir or Malbec, but that is that's yums. Yeah, that's really it's good. A, again, it's in. Well, I mean, that makes sense if it's the same grapes that are going to making the right. rosé. That it is also like easy on the palate like it's uh -huh. just it's again a soft smooth. easy yeah. smooth drink and everything so as far as like mm. going through and tasting this wine you get the red fruit that's in it but you also get like orange zest to it there's like a little spicy note as well there's a little that's spice mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. And I think I, I think I like spice in my Pinot Noir. I don't like my Pinot Noir, Noirs to be too fruity. Like a lot yes. of times there's like this really heavy fruits. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like it's always, I always feel like that's covering up bad grape or something. Like it just feels not good to me. I don't know. But yeah. Like, too, too when it's like just spice. And, I'm sorry, I missed that. What was that? No, it's, it is too much sometimes. Like the fruit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like when it gets too jammy or too sweet, I don't, ripe and, yeah, I don't enjoy uh, sweet that much. Right. I want sweet. I want to actually eat a cake for me. Right. And so jam I, is a good word for it though. Cause what I, that's what it is. Like I've had some, like the Pinot Noir that I made the wine milkshakes with, which is a thing that we did. Uh, oh yeah. Which actually is good. We'll talk about that in a minute. By the way. Um, and I actually have a, a very serious question, but continue. <laughs> but the, the Pinot Noir I used for that, um, when I went to drink it afterwards, it was so sweet. I mean, it was a dessert wine at that point. And I was just like, what, this is not, this is not what I want in a Pinot. Like, anyway. Yeah. Uh, David Faith asked the very serious question of Victoria, which wine goes best with Oscar Mayer wieners? <laughs> I think that's a very important question to ask um, in our current situation. I could drink this with a hot dog. I think this Heck would, I yes. would that. <laughs> but I, I think it would go with. Yeah, I would, yeah. it would definitely elevate the hot dog situation. Can you picture it now, Natalie? The Dodgers are playing, but we're not allowed to go. We are making our own at home Dodger style dogs, but mm -hmm. we get to elevate from the usual stadium snacks and drinks yeah. and have this as our, instead of beer. Okay, my roadblock. Yeah, what do you mean instead of beer? Is I drink it? wine at the stadium. Um, yeah. but the or margaritas. There's one of the two I we drink wine oh, or margaritas. Okay, margarita, margarita, margarita. But, uh, okay, my roadblock with the Pinot Noir and the hot dog is mustard. I don't know if mustard and Skipping Pinot mustard. Noir. Mm -mm. Uh, Skip who and doesn't mustard. put mustard on their hot dog? This this one time you're going with the ketchup dog because I think that that pairs better with mm -hmm. a red wine. No, this mm. is good. I really do enjoy this. This is great. Okay. I'm I'm gonna drink this entire bottle. I, we're just, I'm skipping cab. I'm skipping cab. I'm just I'm done. <laughs> She's like tasting done. I'm living in Peter Marlin. We're doing a tasting. We I'm went in the wrong <laughs> order. <laughs> As no, that always. Is really, really, no, that's really great. Good. 
Yeah. Actually, and it, now it's probably a good time to remind you guys uh, that are out there below in the description box, you can still purchase the Lobo wine with the discounts that we're getting. I didn't check this morning to see if the package is still available. It might still be up there for all three, I, but also if is. you want to just get one of the wine, oh, it is awesome. If you want to just get one of the wines as well, like you just want to try the rosé or just want to try the Pinot Noir, they have a mailing list with perks. There's no downside. You sign up. We signed up for the pack, which I'm glad now because I'll be buying more of this. Uh, and all the links are below. The pack will get you 10% off your order, or you can do the Natalie and Tara Happy Hour trifecta if you still, so you can still grab that if you are inspired now after watching us drink these. I'm sure people, Allison's here. I'm sorry. I have sound <laughs> in both ears now. Uh <laughs> <laughs> is that what that serious you're making a serious face it's like i'm not pitching this right at all i'm saying it oh, all no, wrong i'm sorry i i didn't <laughs> myself anymore i was trying to troubleshoot this earbud i situation. just thought i was doing a terrible job pitching this out there and like oh i, I guess my timing's wrong to you i wasn't Great. listening to you no but... <laughs> better just the important part is that the links are below to still you can still get lobo wine using the uh nelly and tara we love you guys discount situation yeah but this is really good Oh, this is, and this, this is, is really, amazing. Yeah. This is so good. I really love this. I, lo I love that earthy, not so sweet. Yeah. Sometimes Phil, it can be like a little more serious than other pinots that I've tasted, just like with mm. the savoriness of it. But oh, I love it. And, mm -hmm. the, and the texture of the tannins. Um, but they're like nice and round and creamy right now. Yeah. I yeah. actually creamy. really like it's the such a good word for it. Like it is. Yeah. Um, uh, it's one of those videos you know, at the end, you know. Um, oh, and now my speaker turned off again. Uh, <laughs> Why are live streams always technological oh, minefields? On. I can't hear anything again. You guys talk much. You can't hear us? Okay. No, no, this is really good. I love the, I, again, the, that softer, earthier flavor to it. And I, I think I'm starting to realize I like the less sweet like I can do a glass of a jammy wine, and be like, "That's great and jammy," but like these are where I get in trouble because I'm like, "Oh, I could drink the whole bottle of this by yeah. myself very easily because it's just so smooth and easy." I was are just you... having that conversation with a friend of mine, and he was just like, "Like sometimes you crave like that jammy style, that big jammy yeah bomb alcohol." Well, I shouldn't. That's a bad description. He didn't describe it that way, but, that's <laughs> but he said one glass is just enough like yeah that's all you need and like this yeah. is something you can continue to, to find. yeah it's like a guinness i can i can only drink half of a guinness it's just so much but like a lighter like a, a shiner box for me i can drink a whole shiner and then again that's where i'm done because it's beer but that's that's my analogy for this <laughs> for the beer drinkers out there um so we'll move into the cap great okay mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to get really close so, to the mic so you guys can hear this. this. Lobo Cabernet 2016. Show you guys the... the this is cool. not the same one that was um, on Decanter's cover, but this is the next season. Right. Do you um, don't call it season? Do you call it season? The next vintage. The vintage. next vintage. <laughs> Got it. That vintage. is dark. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, my glass is not pretty. I should have. I should have buffed it. We can't tell. No. Oh, good. My <laughs> yeah, glasses no one, are immaculate. Well, it looks <laughs> yeah. really interesting with the light on it, and the top part has disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> you've got the wine. That's the most important. That's all that matters That's is right from here part. down. <laughs> uh, Ooh, okay, smelling it before I swirl. Smell that. Oh, oh. I want to live in there. <laughs> Okay, I want to be okay. I want to be Alice who like fell who's in the bottle when she's going to go through the, the, yes, the, yes, yes. the door's mouth like I just want to sit in it and marinate <laughs> back to my candle or your candle idea back to this candle that is a great Ooh. smell that's actually I mean yeah. honestly Dang like it. that, perf that might, might even be a perfume like not even just a candle yeah. oh yeah what, that what, is a what beautiful what am I going, smell. What's, what's happening here? What am I? What am I describing here? Can I say leather? Can I? Am I allowed to say leather? I know that's one of those things that people. What's say. the word you get? Yeah. Um, but for me, like just the fruit that comes out of it, you get a lot of the blueberry and blackberry. Mm -hmm. Oh, blueberry! Yeah, that's, that's it. it. And um, this vintage, this particular vintage, oh, yeah. started showing itself to me with like a little floral note to it, like 
like a violet or got like a floral note to it as well. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I so smell tough. like the, the, not like the, the super flowery smell, but like a, like a, again, a muskier flower smell to it, but like still a flower. But there's a see that's my problem is i don't i didn't think i grew up in the desert i don't have a lot of flowers like that are right <laughs> in my brain so like honeysuckle i know what that one smells like but like and honestly, that's it I you don't have magnolias go. no yeah you, you say it, it's like you use words you know i don't understand flowers <laughs> our flowers do not smell it's the desert <laughs> right oh i smell thing. cactus <laughs> So this wine, it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, so it's not a blend of any sort. Um, okay. And so this is actually the first wine I began making for Lobo. And okay. we started out, we're still fairly low in production mm -hmm. for this. Maybe we're, this vintage might have been 175 cases, where we started out as making like 100 cases. And going forward we've probably like stepped it up quite a bit um as far as the production goes but it's mm -hmm. single vineyard um so when i'm making harvest decisions i totally i'm all about mouthfeel and tastes and flavors i don't i try to ignore like numbers like as far as like how sweet I, I like to pay attention so that I don't get too ripe, but I'm picking mainly by flavors. And I usually pick before I get to the point of worried about like how high the sugars are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but also by texture. And so I find a lot of the wines that Lobo does produce, they tend to be on the softer side of things because I'm always looking for like soft tannins when I'm out in the vineyard and tasting, sense. chewing on the skins and you know, trying to pick when it's not gummy or dry or papery, but when the when the skins just kind of melt in your mouth. I don't know if you've had grapes in the vineyard like at that time, but before they're actually like ripe, they're sweet. You know, you get the sweet and the acid, but you want it mm -hmm. to be like a complete, you know, like flavor, the sweetness, the acid, just like where you don't really see the difference, but where it all comes together and where the texture is just, you're not like, you know. Chewing on it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't realize that you guys actually went out in the field and like ate the actual grapes, but I'm fascinated by the fact, like you're like, mm, this one's gonna be a good one, not this. I didn't realize that, that's so cool. That you would taste the grapes before you made <laughs> I don't know why it didn't occur to me that you would just, I would just like, yeah, just put them in a bucket and smush them with your feet. Like that's <laughs> my knowledge. I don't, I don't know. I don't do that, but if, if they're good. They'll go out and taste. And oh, that's yeah, awesome. Wow. I actually have a good question here. Shannon West asks, uh, does the shape of the wine bottle matter? Uh, Which well, I would love to know that. Um, so <gasps> the shape that you showed. Taste it. <laughs> Kara, you didn't taste it. It's amazing. I asked a question. <laughs> yeah, but now taste it while she's answering. Okay. So the, the Bordeaux bottle good the witch bottle sorry so, so the napa cab that you have it's a bordeaux shape so you would know that it's a cabernet or maybe a merlot oh, okay. like a bordeaux variety is in that bottle so that's hmm. the shape and then the pinot is in a burgundy shape bottle yeah okay burgundy shape yes Case as well as the the rose of pinot because it's it's okay so okay. that's a burgundy shape bottle so we try to oh put the varieties or the varietals in. So it's more for like the consumer side of it than it is for like a sh taste or anything like that? It's not, I don't, you know, I don't know if there's anything to like, gosh, mm -hmm. if you Chardonnay in the Bordeaux style bottle, you know, like the surface area on the ends, like, I don't think it's anything. You know, like I bet you it's a Zen master cat situation. Like one person just started doing it and just said, that's what I like. And then it just slowly mm -hmm. became a thing because people were like, well, that's what it's supposed to be in. And so uh -huh. now we've just decided that's what it the, is. The barrels, you know, the shapes are different. Um, for, no, for I didn't know that. Wines, <laughs> Bordeaux style wines. So I have, to, <laughs> I have a, a, a Syrah blend 
that we put into the burgundy shape and that's because when we decided to do it it was residual glass with it from there and so it's just been in that bottle you know ever since oh, that shape yeah. we never gotcha it. um but not because it belongs in that bottle like right approaching it you wouldn't think that's going to be a syrah and a cab oh, okay a i never I actually never noticed, I mean, I've noticed the different shapes of bottles. I never noticed them to be um, a type. Like I never noticed, oh, I get reds all the time and they're always in this shape or, yeah. you know. the con I've never noticed a continuity I thought it was just like a choice. This. Like I like this shape. And I like the little, little dimple on the bottom. Some like put Sauvignon Blanc in a burgundy shaped bottle and yeah. most of them are in a Bordeaux shaped bottle. So it, it's also like someone's preference yeah but, you know if you're approaching something you're like oh that's a cab like you can tell it's a cab from here yeah um we had a question i'm not sure if it's exactly what they were asking um because i didn't see the question i saw someone talking about the question but uh decanters and aerators like do you do you recommend them is it important yeah um i feel like i don't typically decant wines, um, older wines, like older, older wines where you have sediment, I would decant for that reason, just off oh. of the solids okay. in the bottle. Um, mm -hmm. It's been standing up right where it's everything settled. So I decant for that. For young wines, oxygen will help mm -hmm. soften the tannins. Yeah. So yes, Okay. because I've worked tastings in the Atlas Peak since it's hillside mountain fruit, more tannins than, um, the Snappa cab. And so I've gone to tastings and because I know how the tannins behave, I'll like decant it, splash yeah. it a lot, and then I'll pour it back into the bottle. So it's double decanting it and that will make it okay. shift really nicely. Oh, okay. Well, you think about it, when you go to wine tastings, it's not in a decant, it's never in a decanter. I mean, they do throw it through an, sure. some sort of small aerator. I was assume um, that's what that pour spout is. Not we've seen like. that, we've seen that, we yeah. Have, we have put it, there are people that will put their wines in a decanter to make it very approachable. And okay. so I'm just tricking people when I do it, I pour it back into the bottle. So it's <laughs> I've decanted twice, but um, there you go. the tannins, they're not so big where I probably, it depends on what the wine is like at that time where I'll decide to put it in a decanter. Okay. Soften it up. Yeah. Okay, we got a couple oh, yeah. more questions actually. Uh, go ahead, okay. Nellie. Okay. Uh, so Michael Selecki, sorry <laughs> if that's wrong. N sorry, uh, I've been drinking. Which is your favorite wine to make? Ooh. Okay, the rosé is coming in close, but Atlas Peak Cab, because it's Cab. a blend. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, okay. Um, it's it's that that vineyard we lost like close to 40 percent in the fire that we had in 2017 <gasps> so oh. it was heartbreaking to not have that wine for 2017 but oh, it's a man. blend of merlot petit verdot and cab mostly cab of course um mm -hmm. but i don't know the way that that vineyard expresses from where it comes like that wine just drives me crazy it's like, you just think about it. <laughs> this just drives me crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I love it. I it's such an interesting me. thing to, to like hear. I mean, it's, it's, it's like an artist at that point in time with like your, I, I, I don't garden even. So like the idea of like, I'm going to grow these grapes and then they're going to do this thing for me and turn into this magical thing. I don't cook and I don't garden. So those two things, I don't, like, and, and I don't the reason I, I don't garden. I'm on neither side of this production. And the reason I don't cook is because I feel like it's an art and I'm terrified of the idea of someone else evaluating that art. I know this is really weird for someone who has a YouTube channel and all that, but, um, so I can't it's like imagine. we're being evaluated every day. Oh yeah, I can't imagine the the, the amount that same artistic like I, drive going into that. I think yeah. that, that vineyard. It, I think it started out. There's no soil. It's like so rocky. It's all rock. And so when it was first planted, just they planted the vines closely together, and on a rootstock that couldn't search for water. So. They struggled like just to oh, wow. for a long oh, time. Wow, interesting. And then we 
put in a second planting like with more Cabernet and then we put it on to the right rootstock so that it could search for the water through the rocks and um interesting that's cool that's really interesting uh and Shannon then, asks um does a little some part, so it's, it's a struggle over there. yeah yeah uh, we have a question. Uh, does does some wine do better in darker, lighter colored glass bottles? Which wine tends to be in which colored bottle? It's kind of like how milk, you're supposed to put milk in a, like it does better when it's in a cardboard container because of the so UV lights. So does hydrogen peroxide. Yes. Cool words, cool yeah. words. There are light reactions. Yeah. So I would put everything in a dark bottle if I could just to protect it um, okay. from having a reaction. But a lot of people like to show like the color, like for instance, the rosé. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. Um, you want people to be able to see this, yeah. Yeah. And so that's the only reason why it's like in that color bottle. But mostly it's just to show the color. To sh yeah. But I don't think there's a benefit to, other than like oh, okay. that attraction of yeah. being clear glass. Interesting. Is there an official definition for rosé? I saw that question, but I don't remember who asked it. Sorry. Sorry, question asker. Um, well, there are two. Well, the only thing that comes to mind, like just with this question, is a lot of one way of producing wine is people will pick their grapes for their, say, like for this Pinot. And then, like I told you when I first started the project, just to see if I could produce something I would like to drink, um, they take some of that juice off and it has sometimes too much color because it's been in contact with the skins. So that's mm -hmm. like bleeding the juice from, you know, uh, from your tank that's been in contact with the skins and it's called Sanye. So that's that version, but the true version is where you actually have grapes that you would press so it wouldn't be it'd just be in the press and you you're extracting the juice from the skins at that time um so you've okay. got that version which is like where you're planning to make rosé and you're dedicating it as instead of harvesting for your pinot and then having your rosé maybe be an afterthought you know oh okay and then you have to adjust that juice because really the juice is meant for red wine this like oh, okay. lower acid, higher sugars. So you have to, and some people don't even adjust the juice. You have high alcohols in your rosé. So that's the only <laughs> thing that comes to mind. Wow. I think what uh, the general consensus is, and I haven't read the chat, I'm just guessing, is that we need to come to the vineyard and learn how to make wine. Someone, well, someone, <laughs> there, it, it rolled through about the, we've been wanting to grape stomping in the worst way, <laughs> mostly because we love I Love Lucy so much, but it's been on our, it's been on our wish list for uh, years now, right? And yeah. we were going to do it this this season, oh, yeah. but. This season was going to happen. Like they have a, they, do, they do have one in Santa Barbara that they yeah. do a, fe a, a grape stop festival that we were, and we were gonna, hoping we, to attend, but. I was all down to wear the exact costume, well, the exact, to like <laughs> do some cosplay. I was thinking full cosplay, Lucille Ball, where you pull the dress up and tuck it into your belt, mm -hmm. the hat thing, the <laughs> scarf. I was all in, but so it goes. Okay, um, we've do kept you guys, do, longer do they than do, expected. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Really quick, one question. Go for do, it. Do they, uh, does, is the vineyard, um, is there a tasting room there? There's a tasting room at uh, where we make the wine uh, at the caves. So okay. there's a tasting room there. Um, Lobo, they sometimes host, I shouldn't put that out there. I'm probably, <laughs> and if they're watching, they're like, why are you saying this? Um, <laughs> I don't think they would mind hosting their property, <laughs> but oh um, they've got such a beautiful property, like even more so, we have a beautiful view at the caves. And mm -hmm. we're almost finished with the other side where we have a formal tasting room. Um, it's an, it's an, it'll be incredible, but their property where the vineyard is is like amazing. So okay, yeah, so at the beautiful. very least, Tara, we can road the trip to the tasting room. I was gonna say the very least we we're gonna go to Napa Valley and pay a visit because <laughs> now I have to see this in person because the pictures are gorgeous. Yeah. If you yeah. haven't gone to their website yet, please go. The link is below. Go look at their site. It's beautiful. This picture is them. We didn't just grab this off the internet. 
This is from them. This is where I am in my mind. In my uh, <laughs> in my mind. This is where I'm traveling at right now. with your mouth again, Tara. <laughs> Basically, listen. I'm not going to continue because I'm just getting in trouble. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Victoria. This was amazing. And thank you, Lobo Wines. Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) What was that? I like that both of us panicked. (laughs) I thought for sure I did something wrong. (laughs) That was amazing. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Victoria. Again, if you want to grab some of the Lobo wines with the discount, links are below. They're still letting us do that. Um, if you tried the wines with us, please let us know because I want to know what you guys thought because these were, these, and it, uh, this, you're not wrong. This cab's incredible. That was show This cab is right amazing. There. If you're going to, and if you're going to get one of these, uh, First thing I'll say, this is kind of interesting. First thing I'll say is if you are a solid cab or a solid Pinot Noir as your normal, then get one of those. But if you are a wine all over the place, try this. This is this is delish. This is a good life for me. It's a good look. I look good like this. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Victoria. Thank Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you walking us through this. Yeah, it's better. It's better than us being like, mmm, this is vodka's vodka All right, cocktail time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, learn some things. I might retain some knowledge this time because I'm still very sober at this moment, unlike normally from our wine tastings. All right, Victoria, thank you so much for your time. We're gonna we're gonna send you off on your the rest of your day. We appreciate you guys you joining us. Guys, thank don't you. go anywhere. We're gonna stay and continue to drink. And this is where the rap party starts. <laughs> Bye, Victoria. Bye, Victoria. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye. You. Thank you so much. Awesome sauce. I learned some. Okay. Okay. I paid attention. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> no, no, no. I paid attention. One, <laughs> one thing I did learn was the swirling thing. So you smelling it the first time and then swirling yeah. it more. I think I probably always just started swirling. Like I didn't smell that first. It's or maybe good I don't know. No. This I don't first think smell- I smelt on the same on on either side. That's I'm sure I didn't smell twice. <laughs> Oh, look, my, my green screen is, is it revealing it's things? Happening. No, I that's can't. your Oh, bottle. no, it's the bottle. It's the bottle. I thought I was fighting with the green screen before we started because I couldn't quite get it to cover. You see my hallway? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do this magic trick again. Okay. Uh, that was cool. I love the wine tasting aspect of today. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but that was so yeah. fun. And Well, <gasps> it's really scary because what if it's not good? Yeah. Woo. But it's all delicious. Whew. These were amazing. And guys, I'm allergic to cab, so <laughs> and you're gonna keep drinking it. <laughs> yeah, that's twenty. Always... No, I was almost at my twenty-three, and me said I was allergic to cab. Oh, no, that's what was right. that? No, you're the the hair follicle, the hair test, our hair follicle said. test, our sens- food sensitivity test said I was allergic that's it. to cab. Yeah, right? no, it's always so nerve wracking when we try things for real the first time, especially mm-hmm. with a representative from the company. But these not were just a representative, so good. the person who made the, the person wine. who made this things. is your art. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like someone were critiquing our videos live in person to us and that's happened to me before i'm like i don't want to talk to you anymore like we're not friends so no but, no. but that was, <laughs> was all good. that was amazing that was um thank you so much lobo i think you guys seriously if you, if, if you are wine drinkers give it a try i'm I pointing sure. down is that's the links and stuff links um, are below i'm gonna pour myself another glass of the pinot noir yeah i'm trying to decide what i'm going to continue with for the rest of our adventure i like, I want to be greedy and just drink all this cab by myself and not give Brandon anything, but that's mean. Is Brandon a cab drinker as well? You, you don't know. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't know if he has a preference, honestly. Hmm. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I'm not normally a guy. I, I, don't, I don't ever order a cab. I'm a mm-hmm. Pinot Noir, Malbec. Uh-huh. Chardonnay. I never order a rosé. I did when I was younger, but then I yeah. had the never. I have the never agains from rosés. I don't have the uh, never agains anymore. <laughs> I went through a phase where I wasn't drinking as much wine because I worked at Street for so long. I worked at Street and then I worked at uh, Next Door, and I drank so much wine, like because ju- mm-hmm. we were constantly having to taste wine and do wine and da, 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 da. it's like the sake thing. Like I just overdid it on the sake for a while. Yeah. And I, I got a little burned out. And when I moved to Idol, then I moved into more of like whiskey just because that's my other favorite thing, whiskey and champagne. 
So, but now like I've had long enough time and this too, I'm like, yeah. I'm feeling more of those wine vibes again. Like I'm loving it. I've switched. Which is I've, delicious. I've switched to wine at home now. Cause it's just, it's just, you're hanging at your house all day. It's just too easy to be like, yeah, and I'll have another glass of whiskey. So, so at least uh, like. My thing has been, I, the reason I know that I haven't gotten COVID yet is because unless there's a new, another symptom is that I have not had no sense of smell or taste. Mine has been heightened the entire time we've been here, which is hmm. very, I mean, I just imagine it's less smog, so that's probably it. Oh, or yeah, something I can see that. along those lines. But yeah. like, there's been a couple. We've bought a couple wines here that we've had while we were in LA, and yeah. the Utah version of them I can't drink. Really? Yeah, I like. I I have to go. I can't. That, that it's just the smell is so strong that I can't get over how fruit that's what I was talking about that fruit like their jam and I'm like yeah I, I want a Pinot Noir I don't want this oh, that's I'm so not, I didn't want to go to Knott's Berry Farm and buy jelly I wanted to drink right. I wanted to drink alcohol yeah no <laughs> I no, I get that I don't have a very like I don't have a sweet tooth like I like dessert but yeah. I don't like everything to be dessert like my because I've been working on not eating as much sugar mm-hmm and like eating sugar when it's time for sugar. Now my palate is like, like no, this is time for booze. When it's time for sugar? Like dessert. There's like a time for sugar? Yeah, well like dessert. Like like I'd rather, no. I'd rather, I don't want sugar in my ketchup. I'd rather have it in my chocolate cake. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, if you like, if you add up all the sugar you have in a day, you know, like, well, I didn't really need, like I have this, like I tried like a low sugar ketchup. I was like, oh, I actually like it the same and it doesn't have mm-hmm. alcohol sugar it just doesn't have sugar in it see i i don't want dessert ever like i very ever? very very rarely want dessert i wake up in the I morning and want a bar of chocolate that's true you do want you're a breakfast I sugar want, person i wake up i will take a piece of cake like do you want cake now no but i want cake later so yes so i will take that cake and i will put it in the fridge and then i will have it for breakfast uh, and I do oh, I every once in a while want, like if, if, if we are, if Justin and I are out to dinner and he is in like dessert mode, I will have a, another glass of wine as dessert. And sometimes I will switch to something that is sweeter. Like I really like, to, and not too sweet though. Like my level of sweet is like a Gertzameter, which is like a dry Riesling. Like, right. so not a Gewurzameter. I know say it however you want to say it. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to like a, I'm not going to yeah. a full dessert wine even. That, that's not too a, much for me. I'm not a time of day or I'm an itemer. Like I'd rather save my sugar for like ice cream and pancakes and mm-hmm. not, and together. That would be actually amazing now that I'm naming those out like that. But, but not, it doesn't matter when I have it. I could have that for breakfast, but I'd rather that sugar be taken up by something I'm like consciously eating and not just like, oh, it just happens to be in everything I'm eating. Like my mm-hmm. can of beans has sugar in it. Like I don't. That makes sense. No, see, I feel like sugar She's like, is no, the it makes same. no sense. No, I feel like sugar is the same as MSG. If it makes it taste better, give it to me. Like, I don't <laughs> care. About, I don't care that I'm also allergic to well, MSG and it's going to make my heart do weird things. <laughs> but I just want, I want to like things. <laughs> I'm dying now. No, but that, that's been my rationale lately. Because I can't tell. Well, I, I can tell the difference, but I don't. Like, once you adapt to it, like, now that I've gotten used to, like, having less sugar yeah. in my food. Like, I made the shrimp. The mm-hmm. pickled shrimp again, which I'm so excited about having, and I have the sugar. Like I still put some in. I just put less. Yeah. Because I okay. realize it does. It's like salt. It does do something, but I just I, for my palate, I don't need as much now because I just don't. I'll just skip it in a lot of my recipes when I'm cooking. Yeah, uh, our friend uh, Bill. Well, it says William Tysinger, but that's Billy T to us. Uh, is in Billy the T. chat right now. Billy T. Tara knows Billy T because I call him Billy T when I talk Billy about Billy T. Him. Tara knows Billy T because I told him told her all about the Vegas trip. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, I've heard so many fun stories about the Vegas trip. I like uh, the Vegas trip. Anyway, uh, William is off of, that felt really weird. Bill is off of, uh, <laughs> of sugars entirely. Sugars, carbs, gluten. Like, I don't wow. know. I don't even think he's eating at this point in time. I think okay. it's actually an I anorexic that. diet. I've done that. <laughs> Not the anorexic <laughs> one. I've done juice fasting. But yes, yes, yes. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's one of the hardest parts for me when doing the, um, keto is that I just have such a sugar craving. 
I do try to right now. So when you're talking about like it's the time for sugar and it's like, this is the thing I want my sugar in. I have to be very conscious of that in the morning because I do have such a sweet tooth in the morning that if I eat that candy bar, that means my coffee's not sweet enough. Mm, I, mm-hmm. And if I if I if I put sugar in my coffee while I'm eating my candy bar, mm-hmm. then I put too much sugar in my coffee. Tara every once in a while has a freak out because she accidentally grabs my coffee and drinks. I don't it. Have a freak out. I just want to oh god, it's like it's like, <laughs> like spits across the room and like her head spins around. It's like really. <laughs> I'm like a cat that like decides to like, lick something it didn't actually mean to. I'm like oh god, no, why did I do this? No, why did that happen? No, yeah, oh, I am god, very, no, no, no. It's interesting because I love sugar, but I do not like it in my wine. I do not like a sweet yeah. wine. So yeah, I love sugar. I just you know I'm just being conscious aware of it. Ooh, something we didn't talk about during the thing. Um, mm-hmm. My our corks when I when I uncorked my wine mm-hmm. is gorgeous. Here's why it's covered in these little wine crystals, which I'm, I'm going to try and show you. Look at that. Ooh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I, cor- I, I panicked. It's a geode cork. I panicked at first and then went and did a bunch of research, like snippity, snippity, snoo, uh, because I was so scared that my house was so hot that I ruined the wine. But mm-hmm. no, apparently that this is normal and that sometimes that people happens. equate this with value. Like this is actually like good wine, meaning that they don't, do too much treatment to the wine. I don't know, but, but both of my both of my reds had it. Like here's there's less on this one, but yeah, yeah, the, I freaked. Was, especially in the Cabernet. I was yeah. so I was so glad I didn't ruin my wine because I was gonna be very upset because I finally got to drink this wine in my stupid house. I know. Not and then to have, what if you had ruined it and then you had to sit there and fake it? I would have been so upset. Oh my god. So speaking I'm of the so noise glad. of your so no this car of your going by in your house um, oh it's a helicopter yeah helicopter but what's funny is justin is listening to this downstairs and i just realized that's what's happening i thought he was watching tv and i was really upset that one he was running the tv this entire time and i can hear it <laughs> too no i just realized that he is watching <laughs> he's watching us and i'm hearing the playback of us i'm gonna close this door i'm gonna walk through so you the don't have to hear yourself really later quick. guys is yeah it- no Guys, Look at this beautiful, awesome. beautiful field, Brian. This, this vineyard. I actually can't oh, wait to go door. pay a visit. It looks oh. gorgeous. No, yeah, we got to get that invite. Uh, yeah. Tara, I also have my uh, cheese tasting platter, which I'm sure. I mean, Aww. I, I just did this to make you jealous. Wait, where are my grapes? Cute. My grapes are what missing. Happened? What happened to the grapes? Someone steal the grapes? I cash them. <laughs> <laughs> No, I had I had a late lunch. I had my meatballs I made, and they are incredible. I make good yeah. meatballs. Yes, I really. I forgot to focus. I don't know why. I know it's doing a thing. Oh, is it doing a thing? He okay. gets upset. Yeah. Simon, Simon's having a time. Yeah, I I make damn good meatballs. They are so. I did an experiment. I did two different. Like I made the same uh, mix, and then I tried cooking them two different. <laughs> <laughs> I tried cooking my meatballs in two different ways to experiment like what what I liked better, uh, but they turned out delicious. I had no idea I was such a good cook. Thank you, oh, Justin. Sorry, I was trying to eat that. So funny. Meat prosciutto. I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be loud. Sorry. Snack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't think to make a. I didn't think to make a, a plate. That was a good idea. I'll have to do that next I time. I actually did. Well, Justin said, "Do you want full. something to clear your palate?" And so we got water crackers. You know how I feel about water crackers. But um, um, but then I it became them. a whole joke, and I just kept buying things to make this big platter. That <laughs> that's funny. I love. Water and then crackers. I ran out of time to make my platter. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I mean that's the thing. I like threw food in my face, and it's mm-hmm. been a whole day of running around as usual. Oh, so speaking of running around in the show and stuff. So uh, from here on, guys, these have been the happy hours. Um. But we're we're changing the brand because that's what we do midstream always. Uh, Thank you, Amanda. These from here on. What'd she say? She likes my dress. Thing? Oh, it's a beautiful dress. That's one of your fantastic red carpet dresses. Um, I've only worn it once. Oh, it was so good on you. Uh, I, we should post pictures. Uh, so from here on, this henceforth will be known as the wrap party for the month. Mm-hmm. Uh, we decided that the last uh, happy hour hangout that we did. Because I, we're, we're thinking of trying to do these more at the end of the month. 
and more of a like a party where we all get together at a different bar, different bar, and hang out and celebrate the month we just got through because, you know, you were with us every step of the way making this show happen. It's a wrap. So welcome to the wrap party. Uh, Ooh, it's... While we're talking about wrap party, you should do the questions yeah. now. So <gasps> Let's they... do it now before we, before we get too it's drunk. It's too deep and too drunk, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So at every at every happy no, hour so far, we've had winners. <laughs> and actually, two of those boxes are going to start going out tomorrow because now we're getting caught up with uh, post-COVID lifestyle. Well, we're still in the middle of the COVID thing, whatever. Um, so we've had winners. And the way – well, let's back up. Uh, first off, let me tell you that the winning thing, what you're winning, it's a box of junk. Okay, I'm and underselling it now. <laughs> I'm underselling. So every time we travel, every time we do a video, every time we, we, you know, get out of our houses or go to the Ren Fair or go to a wine taste or something, I, I am a bit of a klepto. I do pay for things. But, like, I have this bad habit of, like, picking up odds and ends, and I, I'm, I'm very Souvenirs, sentimental. Souvenirs, yeah. Mm-hmm. Souvenirs. I – buttons and pins and, and patches and, and just weird odds and ends, like just fun uh, – some of our artwork from the show, all kinds of just random things from episodes, and I hang on to it, throw them all in a box, because I figured at some point we'll want them for something. So now we found that something. So the winners from these now wrap parties will receive a box of mementos from the episode – from the episodes that have happened previously. Uh, uh-huh. Also, because we love NeuroGum and we want you to try it, we're throwing in a lot of NeuroGum because we have a lot mm-hmm. of NeuroGum. So you're going to get – so the worthwhile thing is the NeuroGum and then packaged it's around it. It's a month's supply of NeuroGum. <laughs> packaged around your NeuroGum to keep your NeuroGum safe is a bunch of junk because <laughs> that's really and what's not happening. not just junk. I made Steve a um... – Quilling, that's true. Pineapple. That's mm-hmm. true. The pineapple is really cute. Mm-hmm. That's really cute. Um, yeah. Tara so we, was we've got a watercolor. I don't know if she did it. I. Oh no, I already did. I was going to send them one of the pomegranates to somebody. Yeah. 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 Not. Yeah. So there's just stuff. You know. This is stuff. 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 Anyway, for us. the questions for this one are. <laughs> okay. Before we before we tell you the questions, now to be entered into the swag bag giveaway thing. You have to comment on the video, not in the chat. Don't do it in the chat. We will never find it. There's, do you see how much is happening right now? I can barely keep up with winning. Or I, said, or I read the word win from Obsquatch. Hey, Obsquatch. Uh, I can barely keep up with reading it. I'll never find you. So once the video is over, can they chat in the chat? Or can they put the comments yet? I don't think to so. End first? You never okay. know. So with the test of your loyalty then, once this video is over, comment below and these questions three that's not true we won't have three questions this time i don't think uh but answer the answer our questions and you'll be entered and follow the directions and you'll be entered in a chance to win and we'll announce the winner not in one week so on the 27th we'll no we'll pick the winner on the 27th we'll announce it at shish shish secret time on the 829 it's a monday july and 30th. Then it's a thursday it's okay yeah, yeah, yeah. july 30th mm-hmm. all right so Question number one. We got in so much trouble last time that this is my question now. Are you team dinosaur or team ninja? It's a very important question. Don't answer now. Just so you know, I'm answering it. I'm team ninja. I'm team dinosaur. That's why this is the question. (laughs) That's why this was a, now listen, I love a good ninja, but I'm team dinosaur, which is why this is the question. Now, I'm not saying you're voting for either of us. I'm just saying this is a great question. I don't even understand the question. Are they fighting? Do I? Who do I think is going to win? Who do I want no, to win? Just who, who do, do I want to see like? a movie about? I would Score. rather see a ninja movie than a dinosaur. Mm. The, yeah, fine. We can make it about. A, who are you, Team Dino or Team Ninja for a movie? I don't care. Just I don't know team. why they're against each other. It's not like Team Edward and Team whatever the other guy's name was. They were, they were actually against each other either. What were they fighting over the same person? That's so stupid. Sorry. I don't know. I've never seen a single one of them. I assume they're fighting over the same person. <laughs> It's so stupid. It wasn't even a fight. It was always the vampire. It was never the werewolf. And which one wound which? up? He wound up with their daughter. It's a very strange tale. Mm. Nothing good happens in that thing. Okay. Then the next question is, what's your favorite type of wine? And you can say none. You can say, I hate you wine. Man. Man. Say me. But I want to know. And then the third question is not a question. The third thing is, you have to also be. An Instagram follower. 
She's just doing that to make me happy. I'll yeah, meanwhile, my Facebook suffers. I'm down to 903. <gasps> I lost one. Uh-oh. It's because I'm posting and people hate us. Yeah, I don't. I don't post on there. And I, I can't yeah, take I just... credit or for it winning or losing. Um, <laughs> I mean, who cares about Facebook anyways? Yeah. Okay, None I think this is now where the real happy hour slash rap party starts. Yeah, Up until this point, we're, we, we're transitioning. Now that business is over, I'm taking, I'm taking just... bracelets off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, oh, oh. go ahead. Oh, when you when you tell us if you're when you decide to follow us on Instagram, uh, send us your handle and I'll follow you back. Also, just just uh-huh. for funsies, why not? Because I do like to follow people that we care about and stuff. So I try. It's hard. Catherine Reed, you can create an account and then never ever check it again. Like I That's do. That's right. I I knew Catherine wasn't on the thing, but Catherine, you already won, so you're good to yeah, go. Yeah, you can't win anyway. You can't win anyways. This is the perfect one for you to bow out of. Did Catherine win last month? Is that when? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. She's our winner. I don't know if she knows that. Catherine, you know you won last month, right? Did I mean, I'm catching email? up. I I no, I've been meaning to email her actually because she's emailed us before, but mm. she's she's my fourth one on my list, so I'm not I'm not to her yet. I just oh. finished with Elizabeth Banu. And uh-huh. next, I got to do Johnny Ringo. I'm going one at a time. So I'm sorry. These take a while because I get really funny about it. And like, I get really funny about picking stuff. Like, I want to pick good things. So like, I read the emails and I look for, I, I check all their comments mm-hmm. on YouTube. I'll type their name and look at their comments and like, figure out what to put in the, I'm, I'm, and then, and then I have to write a letter. I have to write a letter mm-hmm. explaining everything that's in the box. Like Steve L, you'll oh, see, yeah. I wrote this long, like, this is from this thing. This is from this thing. So that you're not just like, great, a cocktail napkin. What is this Catherine about? Catherine Reed did not know she had won. <gasps> she was sick all last month. So we're glad you're feeling better. And oh, congratulations. Oh, congrats. I wondered about, okay, that makes sense. Well, you Let's won. Let's do some stuff. Is here. Oh, my earbud's falling out, but my hands are full right now. And it's Tragedy. just kind of precariously it's all happening. resting there. <laughs> there it is. Yes, you won. I'll, I'll be in email touch with you very soon to discuss details, what your favorite episodes were, so I can pick things that would mean something to you, and then get your address and stuff. All via Yay. the email. Tara struggles. I don't struggle. I don't struggle with anything. I think they think I'm, that I'm you. I struggle Oh, all that's the time. fine. That's fair. <laughs> I think we both struggle. I'm going back and forth. I just switched back to this rosé. I saw you do that. Phenom. I've been sitting with the cab. I love really it. like this cab. It's so good. This wine, I'm, whew, wine's so good. Mm-hmm. Tara and I have been at a couple uh, locations where we decided, we were like, oh, can we film while we're doing this wine tasting? And then it's just like, oh, please be good. Like, can't, can't, can't react. <sighs> I know. I know. We're just so bad at hiding when we don't like something. Like when we, we try to stay positive. We try to stay positive and we try to make fun of ourselves and not the thing we're doing. So like fight like a night. We're not going to make fun of fighting like a night. We're going to make fun of us trying to fight like a night. Like that's kind of mm-hmm. our, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but that's our comedic perspective is like never making fun of someone else's chosen lifestyle or interest or whatever, but like more like how dumb are we? Just our own chosen lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of just being incompetent um and but the the one ch- thing that is challenging is that you and I are not good at hiding when we don't like something and whenever we try something that like people have been like I would love for you to try this and and re- like the juicer I was so scared about <gasps> we the juicer. should try to play poker because we do not have poker faces <laughs> no no I have such a terrible <gasps> poker face like mm-mm. I mm-mm. I get excited I, I like playing uh, <laughs> I've been working on it though because of like, like now, now I have two groups of people playing code names with me. Mm-hmm. I've added another, another group of people separate entirely from the first group. So I'm, I'm working on my poker face because you gotta like not make it, you gotta give your clues and not give an expression. Anyways, um, but no, anytime that you and I try something that like we feel like I want to like this, but like what if I don't? It's always a sigh of relief. Like the juicer, I was so scared. Yeah. I was, like, this is going to be, I was so worried that it was going to be a bad juicer and, and I would know. And like, I'd have to be like, I just don't like, I'm, thank you for sending this, but like, this is a yeah. shitty juicer, well, but I like it. Well, the thing is, 
First of all, I'm going to say that uh, Obswatch said that shots uh, shots of hot sauce break your poker face. Uh, <laughs> but also, I think we're going to be honest about those things anyway. So mm -hmm. the problem well, is that's not our code. That, yeah, that problem is that we're not. It's the problem is not the having to fake through it. The problem is no. What do we do once we're honest about the fact that we hate the product you just sent us? Well, and the or, thing is that we're not going to. Sorry, we, neither yeah. of us want to be dishonest so like it's super mm -hmm. hard to like yeah it's not even just like faking through it there's a mm -hmm. bit of that but also like neither of us wants to lie mm -hmm. or like fake it or like be like i love a thing i don't love like well, I'm not we don't want to like... lie to it we don't want to lie to you but we also we're not the type to lie about those things right. anyway so i'm not gonna i'm so... not gonna support like a diet juice drink or whatever like those mm -hmm. the, that whole thing that was going on when girls were like instant girls were like i'm so skinny because of this drink and like you know that's not why and like why would never do that like that's not yeah also that's also gross but it's aside the point really you know what i'm saying well i mean it's like when someone makes dinner for you and you're like oh i happen what did you do different last time <laughs> because oh i see you know what i really love that other thing the other version <laughs> that you made for me yes <laughs> lord I, th I must be the worst wife because i'm like uh-huh honey no i don't like it no it's not good justin uh justin funny enough when we when we got wrapped last time and op squatch was here justin was like when I went down to his op swatch predates me. He's like the only one that predates me. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. And I was like, yeah. And I had to like tell, tell. So in, in case anyone is new to this like storyline, op swatch was a fan of ours, a fan of ours. We were mutual fans. We were friends. Totally we were mutual fans. Friends, friends back when we were our back first in the birth run of YouTube. through YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Which maybe. <gasps> It's a, it's can, a, can we it's talk a, about this? Yeah, of course, yeah. It's hap It's the rap party. These are our people. You can tell them anything. This, so, is, this is even better than shish shish. So Tara uploaded today for me to look at to see if we could possibly launch it. The behind the scenes footage, behind the scenes footage. It was a fake behind, a fake behind the scenes footage from our live show that you that was used to project mm -hmm. through our live show. And this is from ten years ago. Hopefully, it will be a bonus episode next month yeah. but we need to watch it and make sure there's nothing like one the footage is terrible Tara realized today terrible. it's not in the right shape no like, it's it's filmed in in this instead of being filmed in this and so we're gonna have to figure out how to like put bars on the side or whatever also oh it's not even just is, that so it's not even just that it's quality. that it's not even just that it's that i didn't understand aspect ratio and it's in the wrong aspect ratio so like I thought that's what that meant i don't understand no. aspect ratio <laughs> no, no no it's not just that it's this it's that this is making us thinner does that help mm -hmm. so i need to pull us uh, it's an easy fix actually oh, i just gotta pull us it, out yeah. to the mm -hmm. right aspect ratio so that we're our true size which is brett was mm. i remember this brett and i had a discussion about it a long time ago when we first did the youtube show and he's like you need to put yourself in the right aspect ratio. And I'm like, I don't understand your words, Brett. And at the time, I didn't get it. But it was because oh, we're say, squished. Yeah, and I was going to say, it's, it's interesting that we didn't notice that because we did project it live. But when we projected it, we were able to stretch it until it looked real. Right. Like, that's uh -huh. part of the projector. We go yeah, wider, yeah. wider, 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 yeah. wider. Not tell you. I think I fixed it. I processed it today through Handbrake. And mm -hmm. I think it fixed it. I just, I didn't have time to like really check it. I just threw it back up on the YouTube. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And here's the other problem, guys, is that was filmed with, I like, definitely not HD. Like, definitely, like, the oh. quality of this will be so low. So, so it's bad. basically what has to happen is we have to watch it and think it's funny enough <laughs> that it's still funny enough to ignore all those other things that are I will say. It. I watched the first one in full and did a full spit take. I did a whole that. I remember it being so funny, but that's it, just. It's because it's you and I so exaggerated and like oh, our yeah. interpersonal relationship so intensified. And it's, it's a caricature of us. Yeah. I was watching the one where like you're making me dance and you're like, 
Five, six, seven, eight. Kane, 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 Tara, damn it. And you're like, <laughs> we have such a great working relationship. <laughs> and I, you did that cut. I was like, Pah. and the I entire, laughed so hard. Yeah, it's done. What is the, what's the name of that director who does all the, the, the fake documentaries? Oh, um, Christopher Guest. Yeah, it's, it's, it's done Christopher Guest style. Very. And it is a behind the scenes of the making of our live show. And I am the crazy, crazy dictator. And Tara is just along for the ride and she hates all of it. And I, I mean, I think it's hysterical, but yeah. I haven't seen I mean, it in the, 10 years, so. Right, well, I mean, the, uh, the other problem I could think of is that it, it's meant to lead into things. So like it mm -hmm. not leading into things may be kind of weird. Yeah. But but bonuses are more for more for you hard hardcore yeah. love our channel stuff. So you might enjoy seeing us ten years ago, like baby baby us. We are such babies in it. Oh, the, yeah. and she looks like this out of focus. How yeah, my smooth so her smooth. skin is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like we're we're we are such. I have that haircut I had the like the angled bob. Oh I yeah. Like, oh, I love that haircut. Yeah, I have the angle haircut and like. I was like, I looked good. I was like young and hot. What was wrong with me? So we're baby, baby faces. It's fun. It's fun. So it might be fun just to see, you know, what we were doing and how it's, little things have really changed. It's kind of funny. So Tara went, Tara chopped all her hair off at one point in time. Many times. And then, wow. And then, and then like had a couple different like Bob oh, type yeah. things. But it's interesting, Tara, we talked about it once, like, I do not picture you without bangs and hair at this length. Like this I can't. Like, even when I'm like in my this head. short. Yeah. Even when I had a pixie. And every time I see those, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. But I, I forget. 100% yeah. always your hair is. Yeah. And it's straight. In my mind, it's straight. It's never Which, curly. Because I didn't know how sometimes curly. Well, because yeah. when we met, I didn't know how to curl my hair then. Like that's I just true. couldn't. Well, because I was I from had to Texas. Teach you. I know I was from Texas. Like there was no curling my hair in Texas. I can't, I mm -hmm. still can't curl my hair. If I go back for Christmas, I don't do any of this stuff to my hair. Like there's just no, it's too human. Yeah. It doesn't hold. Like maybe yeah. I have been learning things about uh, the right kind of dry shampoo to use instead mm -hmm. of hairspray. So like, even though you don't need to dry shampoo, but like doing that mm -hmm. instead of hairspray because mm -hmm. of the whole mm -hmm. being different, I have been learning things, but I still don't think I could. Vickas is still here. I thought you left. Go Dodgers. Oh, did you see the thing I post today about, oh, God, what was this Oh, yeah, name? I did. Uh, I did <sighs> Ruthie something. Ruthie something yes. who's 105 and. 10. 110. Oh, God. No. That's, That's what it fake. says. Fake news. She's, it says she's 100. Well, let me look. Maybe I'm thinking 101 because I thought I, I like tried to read it right before we. My point is that she worked for Disney and is a huge Dodgers fan. I'm like, that's your new best friend in life. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. and she's so cute. Oh my god, they're doing a fundraiser. I forget for what exactly for the Motion Picture Television Fund, which have you have we talked about this at all or what that is? It's the sweetest on thing. the channel. No, no, like in person at all. Yeah, before in I person, start telling. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. I don't want to like retell you something you already knew. Well, I'm not on the channel, but which I'm okay. So for the rest of you, uh, the motion 110. She's 110. So the motion That's picture television real. fun. Are you sure? We should check. No, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so the motion picture television fun. Uh, no, it's this amazing campus that's supported by other people in the industry, and it's um. It's like a, it's a community for, for older people in, in the industry, like an apartment complex is what it looks like. It's, and the grounds are beautiful and it's mm -hmm. all funded and it's to help people who are getting older, um, like still live an honorable life. But my favorite thing about it is, is that within their community, they still make movies and TV shows and they're mm -hmm. all on CCTV. So like no one can see them. But they have their own editing bays, their own production teams, their own sound stages, like little small. And they film these films that are written by the residents, produced by the residents, acted by the residents. And it's just, I just love everything about the idea that like they're continuing to make art even in their retirement phase. Yes. Like it's just so, I just, I love everything about it. I think it's so sweet. It was, I took a tour of like the production center at one point. It was really, really cool. I'm very 
I'm very inspired by the fact that I might someday retire I, um, there. I served ice cream there once. You did? I did. Oh, yeah, cool. I didn't the, know the truck, that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a CBT? That's cool. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ground, aren't they beautiful? The grounds are gorgeous. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's oh, really Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's an really amazing well setup. Why yeah. does this camera keep doing this? I don't know. Simon's mad. I don't care. Simon's it's mad. mad. Yesterday, Tara and I filmed a uh, yeah. a short film for um, our friend uh, Ashley. Ash. Ash. Last Ash. Ash. Um, all those things are correct. Uh, sh it, it is a, um, it's called Joining Call. It is a group of friends getting together trying to play D&D in a Zoom situation. And it was so interesting because it got so meta as we were trying to film this thing remotely and things like kept going wrong. Brandon's in it. Yep. Here's mm -hmm. husband Brandon's in it. And he was uh, playing the character whose techno technology was going wrong the entire time. But yeah. when we started and his head, his, his mic wasn't working and we couldn't get his mic to work was hysterical. I mean, it was just the entire thing was so, so funny. Bizarre, but Simon, the camera, is uh, is very upset because Ash made me change every single <gasps> setting on the camera. That's why he's <laughs> mad. He doesn't know what to do. Well, today I switched him back to um, auto focus because I can't trust my eyes to do manual focus, and I hope that it worked out for Ash. Uh, I, oh, like, man. I don't know. I just, I, I don't trust my eyes to do it. Anyway, yeah. so today he's back to manual focus and he's not, not doing it. Yeah, he's been doing a little, he's mm -hmm. like, he's getting, well, I think he and Ron have been talking too much. Mm -hmm. Ron is yeah. our other camera who doesn't like to maintain focus either. Yeah, yesterday. Oh man, I'm so glad to be on the other side bye. of yesterday. I don't think I, bye. I don't think I would have made it through without that scriptation app. I'm so glad I found that when I did. Well, I want to try that. It. You should. Uh, John Mattingly introduced me to that. And, like, I am, like, thank God I learned about that when I did because I don't – because I had to make changes on the fly and then write down things that I was doing in it with so I could write with my pen quickly. And, but my, my, and of course, my favorite thing about it is that it took the old scripts. I would make notes on the old scripts, and I could take those notes yeah. and transfer them over the new one. But, like, on the fly, I don't know uh, if – Oh, shut up, Justin. Uh, I don't know if he's like Don Mattingly. I don't know if I would have been able to keep up without that being able to swip, swip, swip. And like I had, I had both her, her shot list and that scriptations. Both those are the two apps open. I would flip back and forth and be able to go, okay, I know where I am. I know what drinks. I wrote down notes and then I could make notes in the script, like big notes so that I could see off screen when to come back in so that I could keep yeah. track of all the stuff that was happening. I is that was woof what a day that was. So yeah, uh, I, I imagine technology. when we were talking about it, the only thing that I can think of is the um a drinking game where uh Groundhog Day where I played every character, every single other female character so while they're walking through the the, mm -hmm. the restaurant and it was like I, what I did was I had a new name tag to slap on yes. every single time and I yes. was changing props so in my script I had them glued in, I mean they were taped in and then the note of what prop, prop, prop to grab and it was just until that moment was over I was so stressed out it was mm -hmm. it, yeah. it worked I mean you you did I mean it was funny because Ash kept telling you, oh, you need to have this, this, this. And you're like, yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, good, good. Like, yeah, yeah you were on Like, top. yes, check my work. But like, yes, yeah, yeah. And I kept, I don't know stressful. if you saw me. I was like marking glasses as I was going with the Sharpie mm. on the no, back No, I didn't side. watch at all. Oh, yeah. You know, you, how I had to you? not yeah. so that I would watch, because I will default to watching screen. Like my, right. so this was the other weird thing. This right. is a, this is a behind the scenes conversation, but when we're filming, like my instinct, and I know that this is much more engaging, but mm. this is much more realistic to me. And I like realistic. So when we film quite often, I have us, if we're doing something Maggie and Maude, like I want mm -hmm. to be looking down here because I think it's more realistic, but we decided to go with this, which I have, um, I know is much more engaging. I get mm -hmm. that, you know, like this is, so once I went into this mode, as I'm acting to camera and I'm yeah. not going to turn away, I was, I had to, I had to close my screen. I couldn't watch everybody. 
Like oh. I didn't, even, I could have been on a phone call. I could have been on a phone chat. I okay. didn't have to be there. Cause I was like, yeah. I have to be here all the time and not yeah. turn away. It was, it was very interesting well, to me. Once I got in the habit of looking at my camera instead of at the screen, I kept talking to you guys. Uh, like we were in between takes and I would talk like this, even yeah. though like, like stop that. You're talking to them now. Like it was weird. Mm-hmm. Stop looking at yourself, Tara in the viewfinder. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Totally. Yeah. No, that was, Oh, I'm so glad to be on the other side of that, but it went, I, I think it went well aside from the Yeti being a butt, which is he been doing that today? Have you heard him doing that? Actually, I haven't again? heard the Yeti doing his little raspberry Of course things. not because I already started the return order. <laughs> well, you should of return it not. anyway. Yeah. No, I'm going to anyways. Um, but yeah, no, yesterday was, you know, technology. It's hard. It's hard to film remotely like this. It's hard to have, mm-hmm eight different people doing the the clackboard which is like the funnest part that was my favorite thing i, I think know. there should be a a compilation 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 <laughs> compilation yes compilation compilation <laughs> of well, every time so there's eight different screens going and everyone was doing their own clack and it was scene two take one scene two take one scene two take take, take, take and it was just like this cacophony of people going sing two take one sing, do, 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 do. and I, it was call yeah. a locksmith call a locksmith call a locksmith call a locksmith no oh my yeah. god yes it was so was it was fun those are my favorite parts so hard yeah it was fun every time and once something yeah. tickles like that laugh little thing like i can't stop Which, oh right like the kid at that film festival that you and i <laughs> and it was it we got no giggle loop it's a giggle it was loop almost, okay if anyone doesn't know what giggle loop is you need Bye, to watch thickets. You need to watch coupling the British version yeah. and all this all the way through. And there is something in there called the, come on, I can't stop it. Uh, called the Giggle Loop. And you need to be in the know of what the Giggle Loop is. Although yeah. that might be the worst thing that could happen to you is to know what the Giggle Loop is. To know it because know of the Giggle never Loop is to be in the it. loop. To be in it and then you'll never never mm. get out of it. Oh, someone said unflushable, and I thought that they knew what we were talking about, but it was Justin. So, of course, Justin knows. Well, of course. That, he, that's okay. Me too. Yeah, so. Oh, he, oh, did he? I think. Mm-hmm. Was it you introduced me to coupling? I don't know. Probably, probably. Probably. That was I a, mean, I don't know. I'm pretty big that on was the, That was like the first series that Justin and I watched straight through. Yeah. When we started dating. So, 11, okay. 12, whatever, nine or years ago. I can't we remember. Dating. I did the. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. I feel like those were around the same time. Yeah, I was, and like, that was so you introduced me it. to Garth Marenghi. Yeah, yeah. That oh man, if you haven't seen Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, that is genius. I'm sorry, it's yes. brilliant. That it only had six episodes. Well, it's probably the best thing, but it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I just had a moment of which one of these do I grab to pour another glass? It's complicated. What will you do? Well, I'm going to go with the Pinot Noir because I want the uh, rosé to be cooled. Like it's, it's room temperature now. No, it's yeah. It's not going to make me as happy. Hey, oh, Laura. Laura just showed up. Oh, yeah. You, you've missed uh, the wine tasting portion of the day. Uh, Lobo is amazing. And, oh, and hey, Pierre. Um, welcome. People coming. People going. Uh, you've missed the uh, Lobo wine tasting, which was phenomenal. Thank goodness. Woof. So scary. So mm-hmm. scary every time we do a live tasting like that. Uh, you missed this part, which I know, Laura, you'll appreciate. Look at this. This is a wine geode. It's so pretty. Anyways. She coined that term. I did not. Someone else said that. I said that. I mean, but, um, did you? I, I thought someone in the chat it. did. No, I oh, said I that. don't. Thanks. <laughs> credit. Thanks for credit. Yep. I'm actually still proud of my set, and I might leave it the way it is for a while because I love it. You mean my, the backdrop? Because that's what we see. This? So no, one knows your no, stuff. no. My set for joining call with the, well, particularly I may, I may leave this up. Hold on. I'll show you all. This, I think, is the funniest thing I've ever written in my entire life. Oh, I saw that. Earth, air, I and think wine. it's funny. Huh? Instead of water, you know, you're stepping on a liquid for another liquid. Uh-huh. Is it backwards for you guys? I can't tell. No. I oh, see Oh, for it. me, it's backwards. Great. I think it's funny. I, I've worked really, I've spent more mental time than I should have on like the right blackboard saying. I realized what it was. I character. wanted to say wind. Because Earth, Wind, and Fire is a band. And that's why my brain was oh. like, what is going on here? Like, I couldn't figure out why yes. it didn't sound right to me. Well, yeah. Because she's a, you know, a. Yeah, no, you she's know. totally. Makes sense. Yeah, that's 100%. I thought it was just. 
hysterical. Uh, my personal sense of humor. I'm going to finish this rosé. I'm going to finish this Pinot Noir. I'm going to finish this Cabernet. Hi, Dorian. This is a repeat of yesterday, but with actual alcohol. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we look like we're on Tatooine. Okay, okay let's go into the or... Q&A portion, portion of the evening. Q&A? Meaning, What's that meaning I ran out of things to say, and I'm asking if anyone has anything they want to ask us. Oh, for the rat party? Yeah. We ran out of things to say? No, not really, but... Not really. I mean, we just, at this point, we just chit-chat until, you know, you finally get bored with me, or I say, Natalie, we have to go to work now. Because right. it's Oh, I'm not working this here. evening. No? What do you need from me? No, no, no. You have nothing to do. I have, <laughs> I, I have stuff to do. I yeah. got all of my stuff out of the way before no, no, no. this your, so that I wouldn't Your have homework's all done. Yeah, no, your homework's all done. I was dumb and was like, oh, there's still work to be done when I get done, which is fine. Everything I have to do is, like, mechanical. I can do it without having to think black claw. They should make the opposite of white claw and call it black claw, and it's just beer. It's dark beer. An ant. Interesting. I kept seeing today, that's funny because, excuse me, so Tara and I are prepping for next month. We're going to get together yep. at the end of this week and we're going to film. Yeah. And um, I was prepping for what we're going to film. There's one thing that's a big question mark. So we have like an alternate. And while I was looking for alter Ooh. alternative um, episodes or bonus tries, one of the things that kept popping up was black sangria, black Russian, black. And I don't know what's going on inside my Pinterest, but my Pinterest has gone full social justice warrior. Like it is mm. going, it is. It's 100%. like just combining words that you might like together. You might like this. What if I put black in front of it? <laughs> try the black sangria try the and it was like it, it was it was interesting it was it was like black claw and it was like this is this version of it with darker ingredients and i was just like this is i don't know i mean some of them were um it sounded a freaking amazing but i was like but is that like a cocktail that i don't know i mean it was all drinks all of it was How, drinks. i'm sorry i have to i have to halt you alibaba furball you shut your mouth he says mm. pinterest sucks you shut your mouth. I'm not going to I not gonna love argue Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Argue really? I didn't understand Pinterest when it's first when we first started using it because I don't understand why I would want to save something for other people to see. Oh, I don't care about other people seeing it. Most of my boards are secret. My yeah, mine's more so, about I'm collecting either imagery I want for like art right. later on or like But I can do that just... within my computer. But that that's the I thing. Had, so much that's of it saved. That's I did that. I had that saved in my in my computer. Right, which I didn't actually. So, so two things here. The way my computer works is like once I do that, I can't just pull it up on a board and like look at it in one thing. So like that makes me crazy. And secondly, I don't want more shit on my computer than I already have for me because I'm always trying to keep my computer clean. Yeah. Like. So for me, like having that somewhere else and like once I go like, oh, I want to go look at my art board and I just click mm -hmm. on my little art board and it pulls up my art thing and I just scroll through my art thing instead of like having to the, open everything. No, the only reason I use it outside of you and I or uh -huh. sharing it with another human being is that I can access it from my phone and from my computer. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. So the fact that I can say this here and then I can reference it from, but I right. do think there's probably a way for me to do that with Google and I just don't understand it. Oh, I'm sure. So yeah, I mean, I can yeah. do that with Google Photos. It is, and then the, the problem with on your computer is you're only saving the picture. You're not necessarily saving the link. Yeah, so that's, that's true. where I started. Well, and Google. that's, that's like, I started but, cooking boards because of that. Cause yeah. I was saving But honestly, I can't use Pinterest right anyway. So half the time I am just saving the picture. I'm not actually linking to an article. Oh, uh, we run that into is, that well all the time. Yeah, that's where Pinterest sucks. Is that like not not all those links are real or they're dead links or whatever. So like mm -hmm. I'm a bit careful when I pin things unless it's just for imagery because I have so many boards that are just imagery like clothing boards or like mm -hmm. a lot of it's a lot of it's watercolor and art. For me, like I do a lot of that kind of pinning. So for me, mm -hmm. imagery collecting. And I like, I love the layout of it. Like I have, I have the same kind of like, cause you can save groups in Instagram. Like you can save your specific, I have like a watercolor mm -hmm. board, I guess is the best word for it in Instagram, but it's still a better 
more functional layout for me when I'm like going back to research like oh I wanted a watercolor this style. Until you can't style. make a file within a file and that's what that a board within a board on Pinterest. If they oh, can make a, a board, board within a board. With a board. Yeah well aesthetic. once you could do the board a board within one board but not even a second board within that board <laughs> to organize even more. Well you can with Dropbox like I mean yeah, Dropbox, you, you can, can keep going. Infinite, yeah. Infinitely. They, they should really figure out how to go infinitely in on listening yeah, uh, Pinterest. We just solved all of Pinterest's problems. You know, I'm if sure we have listening. someone who's got an ear with Pinterest. You know, figure this out. Yeah, for sure. We got that. Someone here. Someone here. No to Instagram. Starla's on Instagram either. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't be on it. I, mm. I like Instagram. I, I really mean, if do. you want to, the only reason to go to Instagram is to, you can see that I have a file save that's called If He Ever Asks. And it is <laughs> wedding dresses and color schemes and rings even. I mean, I don't know if he ever asked. Ah. I don't know why I need a ring at that point. But <laughs> I, I shared it with Justin. I sent him the link and he still hasn't asked. So, well, uh huh. Maybe it's because I yell at him and ask I him like to be great. I like Instagram. <laughs> That's where I go to. No, I like it because again, visual. I'm such a visual person. Like I like, I like the layout. I I I call my personal feed to be only things that make me happy, just like you did with all cats. Like it's only mm -hmm. things that make me happy. If you irritate me, I'm probably gonna unfollow you. Cause that's I do on my Facebook. I, I snooze you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tara if you make me crazy. Just kidding. Well, I mean, I have gotten, I have gotten punchy. I don't know. I don't actually don't play on Facebook very often. I'll post something or, or randomly. I'm like, oh, it's actually probably why we're still friends is because I don't go on Instagram and you don't go on Facebook, and so you can't yeah. see either of us post. <laughs> probably, yeah. I don't post anyway. I only share awkward Yeti photos. So, I mean, uh, comic strips. So yesterday, the thing you posted from Awkward Yeti, I almost posted to our stories. Like around the same time. Oh, I've time. done that plenty of times. Like I've. I was like, oh, like, this is so us right here, and like almost just posted. It was like, oh, I I just posted an awkward yeti on my thing. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll ease up on the awkward yeti stuff. But like, you yeah, know, then you did it. I was like, great yeti. Awkward if you yeti are is not, my spirit animal. If you're not in the so awkward yeti, and I can't remember the one that does the aliens, the ones that describes teeth oh. as mouth stones. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm looking it up. I love that. I love the aliens so much. If you don't have they any are, idea what we're talking about at all, these are both comics that are and they're so on good. The internets. Uh, Awkward Yeti does heart and brain, and then all the other organs in your body. But heart and brain are constantly Ugh, having the best. fights, and I, I've posted many of them to our Facebook. I don't know if they end up other places, but yeah, there is an alien one where they describe. Things that are happening in real life through alien terms, like oh, they're so good. It's like I also I really want to buy these Tom shoes. I'm interrupting. They're little alien shoes with anyways. Nothing sorry. to do with anything. Well, I'm looking for the aliens. Yeah, but that oh, that, that was not that didn't help anyone. It's aliens. Nathan Pyle is the alien one. Says DNA. Nathan Pyle. Bill Thank you. Gates. Yeah. Bill Gates told us that. Bill Gates knows. Thank everything. you, Bill Gates. Bill Gates says everything. Uh, no, I, I love the aliens so much. Like the way they describe stuff, uh -huh. there was one about a dartboard at a bar that was so funny. Like I have better accuracy than you do. Let's test our accuracy with sharp pointy objects. Let's shoot them at the same board. Let's do this while being, while intaking liquids that make us less able to, it was just so, right. uh, was, I'm like, and I, I was like added, let's dim the lights to increase the anticipation of accuracy or something i just love it well so there was much. that one the other day where the little alien ran up with the hurt elbow or something i fell down and then it was and then he like kissed it made it better and then as he ran off he's like i will fall into something infinitely worse and they're like that's what i'm looking forward to like it's just this weird like <laughs> yeah these it's it's just dissecting humans nature yes i cute. love it it's my favorite thing i love it i i love those so those are those are my if that was my if you have awkward yeti that's mine right there Love it. People are talking about how much they love Justin. That's all we're doing here. Oh, so really, I think that we're the front, and Justin is really why people are showing up, is what I'm hearing. Can so I we talk just have about to... something that really awkward while we're talking about Awkward Yeti? Yeah, sure. Um, and not a, and we, we, it won't be a downer because we're really pros at this. Um, 
Oh. Ash doesn't know Winchester's dead. Just, uh, Jason didn't either. Yeah, we have a couple of friends who we've been interacting with who keep, like, saying things. I can't believe Winchester hasn't popped into the frame yet. And I'm like... <sighs> And Tara saw, looks at, like, it's funny because we're on a split screen. There's 12 of us and Tara looks at me. I don't know how she looked at me, but she looked at me. I, <laughs> I, I was like, I, like Jay, so our text I with Jason and he mm -hmm. mentioned Winchester. I immediately side text like oh. Winchester's ghost. Like, cause I thought yeah. I was like, do you know, are you trying to be funny or like what's going on? No. And then I'm like, I had to break the news to him like, my thing is, my problem is assuming people know. Right. And so, like, Ash had said something the other day. And what's funny is Rose's cat's name is Winston. And so oh. she had said something. Oh, there's Winston. And the reason that's funny is everybody called Winchester Winston. Like, everybody did. Oh, so okay, she was like, okay. oh, there's Winston. And I looked around. <laughs> I went, <laughs> And she's like, and then, and there was Winston. I was like, what did she see? I thought maybe like the curtain was moving behind me or something. And, oh. uh, and anyway, so it was just really interesting. And I thought, oh, okay, maybe she does know. And this is a weird conversation. And it wasn't until yesterday when we were sitting there and she says, oh yeah, I'm surprised Winchester hasn't jumped into frame. And I'm like, oh, oh no, 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 no. If Winchester were still here we would have not been able to do no. this without introducing Winchester as a character. Like that's right. not a thing that's possible, but yeah, you can, it was, guys, you can got through eight hours of shooting with, oh, with God, Winchester no. in the house. No, you couldn't, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to cast myself. Like I keep, cause there's no continuity at that point. Right. Yeah. Like this curtain would have done this. He would have moved this, around. Yeah. Whatever. He yeah. would have done a thing. Yeah. Yeah. He would have popped yeah, but, in. Yeah. It is, and I just wanted to put that out there. Like, guys, I, I am not offended in any way, shape, or form if someone doesn't know and they said something. We've had right. a couple of those where someone's like, where's Winchester? We are okay. Like, I mean, well, we're devastated. And yes. I, I, I've, I can't, I've got some pictures in my phone that make me cry on a daily basis. But at the same time, we are okay. And you don't have to apologize for not knowing. Right. And I, I don't want you to feel bad for that. That is. Well, and I've been doing the breaking news thing and like, a, just so you don't feel bad about this. Like, yeah. and also let me give you the news because you might actually be kind of devastated Justin! as well. Because people. Justin said, wait, Winchester's dead? What did I miss? <laughs> Justin. Well, and telling Jason Winchester was dead, I was like, oh shit, I should tell you. Yeah, no. Like, separately, because you have a relationship well, with this cat as well, because of panic button stuff. Like, yeah. It's, you know, and actually, I don't feel it, dumb. It becomes awkward. Tara, have you ever been in this weird um, scenario where you're at work, and you're talking to a customer, and you're just talking, you're having a conversation, and this is all fun and games, and then you realize that they don't realize that you're taken? And now mm. there's this awkward, like, how do I bring up the fact that you're you're you have no chance because I am right. basically married or I am married or you know like like okay now how do I bring this up without making you feel stupid like right. I feel like that's the same thing with, with yeah. this thing it's yeah, like yeah. how do I oh bring God. this up without making you well, feel bad for not in knowing? bartending no. like I can't tell you how many times I've been like oh honey no I'm sorry I'm married I know my ring is really mm. small but like it's a bar <laughs> this is the bar ring I have to wear because you know I'm going to start using that. I know my ring's really small. <laughs> There's nothing Shit. there. Shit. Well, this is, this is the spacer. Wait, is this the right hand? I don't even this know. Is the, this is the spacer for the giant rock yeah. he gave me. It's not that big, but like, it's an antique. But anyways. It's, um, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I never wear it though because it's so delicate. Mm -hmm. I'm so worried. I've already lost an emerald. So I'm like, <sighs> weird. I told you about that, right? It was before we got married. No, not you. Rusty Squid just said he's been mistaken oh. for a coworker who died two years ago what oh that's a good story oh my god oh man i'm sorry i stopped to read that fully okay wow, wow. no i do wear a wedding i do but like listen i bartend this is the spacer between like my two rings it's almost like it's drawn on at that point i know i know i get it i get it but i can't i can't wear either of my rings like because one of them my my engagement ring is from the 20s and my yeah. wedding band no i wouldn't wear a, that to work at all no and my wedding band is from the 30s like i can't wear either of those to work all right and i can't really wear them 
Well, I, I, I garden a lot and stuff. So like I do wear my wedding oh, yeah, band no. often, but I'm not going to wear that to bartend in. Well, it's very similar to like the idea of I, my car is a beat up piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And I love that it runs. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. The but car is I don't wonderful, want a, but. I don't want a new nice car because yeah. I'm terrified of messing it up. Like mm-hmm. yeah. the idea of like, and so I wouldn't drive it. It's like you get a new phone and what do you do? You slap a case on it and you yeah. never see the pretty new phone. That's, this thing is gorgeous. Like, oh my God, no, no damage done to this thing, right? Every time like, I open it, I'm like, this yeah. phone is beautiful. So it's very similar in those things. It's like, you've got this beautiful, pretty yeah. thing that you love and it's gorgeous, but, but I don't, don't want to mess it up. So I never wear it. Like, you and know. even what's funny is that I've been, I've been bartending for so long with this, the spacer. Hold on, on. can and I I'm... say for time out, Justin, that doesn't mean I want, don't want a beautiful, pretty ring. I w- just get a beautiful, pretty ring. Yeah, don't, let's, let's not mix things. Uh, you don't, you don't bartend anymore. No, but like I've been wearing the spacer for so, which I bought the spacer for my mm-hmm. rings be, to keep them from rubbing against each other to wear mm-hmm. out because they have etchings on the sides. So they don't wear, so I just wear this to work, but I've been bartending for so long now that like the, my habit is just to wear this all the time. So I never wear my rings. And even in quarantine, I could have been wearing my rings for months. And I just have like, I, I don't, they're still in the no. box. I don't know why I have Kamikaze haven't. Steve says that when he was married, he took a look, had a lookalike ring that he kept in his car in case he forgot to put his on in the morning. There's so much there. There's so many layers to that. Kamikaze, are you a spy? That's my first question. (laughs) Secondly, have you have you seen Killing Killing Eve? Because I feel like there's something going on there that's very Killing Eve. Killing Eve yet? Oh, it's so good. I finished season two seasons. I want to go to the third season yet, but um, no, it's so good. Yes, Justin, I want a ranch and a Vegas timeshare and a ring. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, honey. And a ring. He, he is trapped. And he I don't think trapped. we should get out of quarantine without a ring. I think we should all be in agreement there that quarantine, if quarantine ends before I get a ring, then I'll be very upset. Obviously, I'm not leaving, but I'll be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> what is the uh, the uh, the proposal story at this point? I don't even care about a proposal anymore. Like, at this point, I just want to be married. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the rap party, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> with, but he did offer queso, and I do, oh no, rusty squid with queso. I mean, if there's. Let's say queso, Justin doesn't have queso off to offer. I do love queso. I know it's in the fridge. <laughs> oh, someone's asking one of the questions this week. Uh, okay, so oh, reminder. Man. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 she's just adding. So in case you're just now tuning in, I would like to win the box of treasures. The treasures. Treasures as in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the box of treasures that they open up and try to to sell. Yeah. And Neurogum, and Neurogum. The the questions this week, uh, are you team ninja or dinosaur? Doesn't even make sense. I I don't need to make sense in my life. I'm great. What was yours? I don't remember. This is why we don't do this. What's your favorite wine? Oh, right, right, right. Not and also, I want to know what type. And then the third thing is you need to be a follower on Instagram, even if you just make a fake account for the day, it's fine. Give me your handle though on Instagram and I will make sure the show account is following you because that makes my life more fun. Mm-hmm. It's fun for me to go through our Instagram feed and see people that we know and like see what they're doing with their lives, especially when they post their pickle pictures and stuff. I love that. It makes me very happy. Or their cute pictures. I've been pictures. loving the pickle pictures. Yeah. Oh my God. All that stuff. I love that. I, I will, I will go through the feed and watch people's lives and whatever. It's nice. We're at a very nice place right now where we can really engage with people and like see what they're doing. It's Justin fun. said, sigh. Now I'm committed. Mm, what? What do you mean, what? He's saying, I guess, I guess as of now, 11 years deep that he is in this relationship. Oh, n- oh That's now That's what I read. In? That's what I read. You've been in. <laughs> Add to the list of in and t-shirts. I don't need to make sense. Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I don't need to make sense. <laughs> no, I don't mm. ever. Tread carefully. Everyone's warning. Justin, tread carefully. 
Warning. Everyone's very, very careful. Why oh, is yeah, everyone there's... so nice to Justin? Because he controls the chat room. Yeah, basically. They're all friends in the chat. Yeah, because we don't talk to them enough. We talk to ourselves, and then we forget to... to yeah, that's true. That's very true. We Wait, don't I think engage. you have me reversed, so I mean over here. <laughs> Wait, I have to check I think the, they're the over thing. Here. <laughs> okay, yeah. These yeah, people yeah, right, over right. here. <laughs> no, no, opposite side for people. Opposite side for people. That side was me. Justin, the gatekeeper. Yeah, basically. Basically. Oh, so just so you guys know, there is this loose chance that I might go to Utah uh for film the next round of filming so this month now it's coming back we're gonna film our content and then the next time so at the end of august i might travel to utah to film so we're very mm -hmm. excited about the possibilities of what we could do in utah ranch fun i mean so all the fun what we're planning on doing is we're getting together next week and we are knocking out at least four of the amazon warrior things mm -hmm. we will cover that in shush, shush. but um, yeah, yeah, we'll talk more in detail about gotta that. leave something for shush, shush but we are gonna knock those out and then mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. tara if if and when tara comes here we are going to then if, knock out a couple more there's a couple that need to happen at the ranch yeah. like i'm gonna i'm gonna throw it the hot the go, toddy go rods do it. the toddy rods oh my god the toddy rods is fire for the ranch no it's perfect they need a real fire and we can't make that happen yeah Mm, well, this time in LA is not a good LA. idea. Yeah, we could, but it's better to do at the ranch, and I think it'd be so fun mm -hmm. there. And uh, so there's a couple things like that that should happen, and then also we have a bit of land. So the idea of Tara and I maybe going camping on the land. I mean, it, it'll be it'll be a first foray into camping because we. I think what we need to do is we need to take the golf carty mule thing yeah. and drive ourselves out there so that we have our equipment so we can film. Cause yeah. I think hiking out there would be That's hiking. always the I trouble mean, with camping is like, we still, in addition to our stuff, our pack, we have to take gear. So like, we have mm -hmm. to like, think about that extra piece of equipment, which mm -hmm. isn't just a camera. Not just, it's, it's, like, it's heavy, it's heavy equipment. No, it's, too, like, there's a lot of stuff. It's heavy, yeah. it takes a lot of effort, yeah. So if we drive the mule out away from civilization and by civilization i mean the trailer which is not very civilized there's right. sometimes an outhouse there sometimes but you're i adore that a trailer, bucket but yes and justin's yeah. digging a hole um the rest of the time no so tara and i driving out into not the woods because there's no woods like it is it's short I don't, I, I don't even know what you call it justin what do you call it it's not the woods it's not like, brush it, it's like between brush and woods yeah, there's there's trees. They are um uh they're like juniper trees. They're not very they're not they're they're, they're tall. Yeah. But they're not They are juniper big. trees. They're not, they're not like juniper. juniper. They're I juniper, but so. they're a different kind of juniper. Oh um, I grew up so in brush. Austin. Yeah. In Austin where so I spent every weekend of my childhood in Austin and I'd run up and down the hills. Like we we had this little tiny shack in austin mm -hmm. before it was before austin was like a popular place to go like when it really was hippie town and we were mm -hmm. like out on the in the boonies there was no other houses around us and it was all juniper brush and so i would run up and down these hills and like build i would build tents out of juniper brush and like i would that was my life like i knew juniper trees better than any other tree because that was what i was used to that makes yeah. so much sense. Like I was like, oh, it's this looks like juniper to me. What else is it? Justin keeps saying yes, juniper, but it's juniper. Is it a different and then, variety of it or something? No, juniper, juniper, sagebrush, and then there's something else that the sage, really yeah, thick, that is nasty and gnarly and pine. Yeah, your and, your sage is very like hardy no, sage. There's, there's this, there's this, there's this weird tree that grows up like really like icky and nasty like Naughty. this, and 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 you can't go in there, but the cows can because they got leather on the outside. Mm. And you're not going in there. It's not called parsley. I um, eighty two. No, and there's no. I mean, there is cedar, but not nearly. But the okay. juniper is. That's basically what we have is a bunch of juniper. Okay. Bushy tree things. Anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Most that of makes it sense. is open. It's though. Burnham Woods. It's like not woods, but it's like brushy kind of 
lower than, but yes, I get it. Yeah. Do my cows jump? Um, they <gasps> they do if they want to get over fences sometimes. Most oh, of them that's they right. just plow through fences. But every once the bulls, the bulls definitely jump. They um they go wherever the hell they want to go. Um, <laughs> you can't. But where we are, actually, there's an interesting thing. Like over on the corner of my property, we discovered. And this is like first world problems. And it's not even a problem, but it's first world in that we had a piece of property that we didn't understand. Um, over on the corner of the property, there is this fenced in area that we don't know who fenced that in. Um, and it is perfect immaculate fence. We have had to fix every inch of fence along the entire thing 27 times. This stretch of fence is beautiful. And there's this huh. whole area, Tara, over to the corner. You know that corner? You probably don't. So you're coming no. up, you're coming up, and then you turn left. It's hard left on to, as you're going up the mesa. You turn this hard left, and every time we do it, we'll go, that's our property. Like, because that's, okay. the, that's, the, that's when we know we're on our property. But that corner, because then you turn right again, that corner is all okay. fenced in for some reason. And that fence is immaculate. Hmm. Like, I don't know who put it up, who doesn't touch hmm. it, who, like, but, so we had this corner that we could go in there. It's uncharted territory. And it's <gasps> terrifying to me. It's fun. I'm in. This I'm in. piece of property that I don't know that any of us have ever set foot on. Oh, oh, that's fun. I like that. It it's creepy. Me. That's where the grandmother lives. The grandmother? Who owns our trailer. Oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. The grandmother uh, who haunts our trailer. Kind of remind, is it haunted, the trailer? Oh, I'm sure. The grandmother haunts it. Really? That's why we hang up the baby. Oh, my God. My work has a ghost now. I'm sorry. I have two stories now, but my, my work has a ghost now. So, I'm not kidding. This isn't, like, I've worked at this place for five years now. I have worked all hours in the night. I've never had an incident. And people, like, try to claim ghost stuff. I'm like, no, it's not haunted. I'm telling you it's not haunted. Like, I, I've been there all hours. But recently, activity has started. So here's what happened, and I saw video footage. No. Reminiscent of video footage we've seen <gasps> From before. From Oklahoma? That I... Shh, We're allowed yes. to say that much. That's all we can say. Uh, yes, very reminiscent. So what happened? First thing, uh, my manager was at his desk. So he's at his desk, and there's a shelf above the desk, and they keep books on the desk. Now, the desk is wide enough to, uh, to hold a book except for, like, maybe this much of the book. Like, so like, yeah, you know, yeah. the mm -hmm. whole book's on mm -hmm. there. I'm there. I'm with you. He's working and doing the numbers and a book falls off the shelf, smacks in front of all of the work he's doing and scatters all of his paperwork. And it was okay. like, that's weird. Interesting. Whatever. And he just thought I, the book was floppy. The book wasn't up there. Right. Whatever. Yeah. Nothing happened. They catch footage. So there's the desk, the shelf. Above that, so there's a shelf right here to the side. And there was no camera for that, the way okay. this office works. There's a shelf over here to the side. On the shelf, we keep a rack of paper. It's a, one of those like file things that holds paper, flat, you know, like a, a sideways flat mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. And in there, we've always kept like clean paper, hard stock paper, molten paper for all the menus and stuff that we print or just whatever. Did you say uh, molten paper? Molten, yeah, like where it's like textured-y or like kind of like. Never heard like, that. Okay, go ahead. <gasps> go ahead. I'm uh, right. <laughs> so the bot, the bottom rung of that paper, this shelf of paper, fully on there. There's no the shelf fully obtains and holds this paper. The bottom rung, with the paper that's for the printer, the white paper, on camera, falls off the shelf. Okay. We don't know why. There's no, no one's in the office. No one's been in there a while. It just fall. It just completely goes out of the shelf and falls out. And then it was one other where like the, there was a book open on the table when the chef came in that morning. He's like, steak. That was not there. Huh? Justin asked what I wanted for dinner. Steak. Oh, steak. Yeah. Open up. Like, now I hear you, rusty, squid, gravity. Yeah, I'm not convinced. I would need to see the manner in which it, did it slowly now, I was, slide out? Did I it... was not convinced until I saw the footage of it, of it, like, well, the problem with the footage is, like, you only see the edge of the, 
the thing and it plopping out. Yeah. But like I looked in there. I was like, okay, I'm going in there. And I went into the closet and like the closet, it's, it's the tiniest office. It's basically a closet. But like, I went in there. I was like, what? I was like looking at it, looking for like, is there like a, a lean to, is it crooked? Is it not? You know, yeah. I was looking at all the things we normally look at and there was nothing I could find. It was weird. So I'm keeping my eye on it. But so, um, no train and probably not construction nearby, but we do no. live in LA and there could have been earthquakes. Fair. Um, Fair could have been earthquake. Fair could have been any number of strange things happening. Actually, right? the whole room shakes when a truck drives by. Mm. No, that is very true in all of LA true? because it's very true. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just trying to I'm think of where this office is. No, no, I'm just trying to think of where this office is in this building because it's such a weird building. Yeah. My thing is the footage we saw in Oklahoma was a <gasps> was... stool pulling back from a table. Like, that I mean, was not... unquestionable. Well, they could, there is a way. No, that's unquestionable. I don't No, I mean, you could, all. you could fake that. You could definitely mm-hmm. fake that. You could fish wire, la, la, la. Mm. But do you call it fish wire, fishing? Fishing line? Fishing, fishing line. Thank you. Um, but wire, everything else, are, the, the circumstances around that made me think that wasn't fake. The amount of secrecy no, we were... No, not fake. I don't think fake. Oh, no, that one. Yes, yes. Yeah. That one, definitely not fake. Um, no. But, no. And this one, I don't think fake. I think my first reaction Questionable. Is, that's a weird thing. That just, I mean, like, it's there's weird. plenty of times where you're sitting there and, like, the, the trash can suddenly starts making noise. And it's something settling True. in it oddly or whatever. True. So, like, I said, like, keep me posted. Let me know if more things happen. I'll let you know. Do you feel like it's haunted? I've never felt it was haunted. No, for me. see, that's the thing is, I feel like you can. T- I've never felt like that place well, was haunted. I the, the, definitely and, have felt that in places. Yeah, for sure. Like I have definitely. I lived in a haunted house, so like I feel like yeah. I have a sense for these kinds of things. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. But like, so dark like, I feel haunting. like the dark room is fucking oh, haunted. Oh, for sure. Yeah, someone's 100%. always watching you. And yeah. But it's it's a nice ghost. Mm-hmm. Most, but someone's think, watching. Yeah, but someone is definitely there. It could be yeah. the, it could be fan of the opera and living up in the rafters. There's enough space True. up there. But I've never felt not watched when I walked in a dark room. I'll tell you that. Oh God, I've always room felt was I've always... always felt aware of myself there. Like I've never felt comfortable. No, and and it's even worse when you're closing down at the end of night. That's the bar that yeah. I looked at, which is closed, by the way. Uh, by the way, don't try to find it permanently closed it'll open up as something else some other bar yeah, yeah. but um it is definitely but i've never felt threatened there yeah i have i've been there by myself many 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 times and i have never felt mm. threatened in that environment yeah however i do always feel like there is something else happening like i'm always i like, agree with you <sighs> i've never felt that night alert. now i have not no, spent I've as much never time felt there that night and i've never yeah. and i haven't um been there by myself yeah which is I've been very there, different i've been there by myself so many times and i've uh-huh. never felt anything yeah. it's always just been a shell of a thing but that being said that doesn't mean things don't change no so, and it could I don't be know. that the apartment complex that they tore down next door is now listen, listen there and they need to find Morris is finally say. mad no, I don't. I don't know. We'll f- we'll find out. Uh, I will be we'll checking find, in. The thing is, we I'll won't find in. out. We'll never know. We will only ever find out the next piece of the puzzle, which is so fun. I, I mean, <laughs> I will. I will check in and go. What's new on the story? You know, even though I no longer work there, I will check in. And be like, um, so can I come ghost hunt on your property? Right. Thank you, and please and no. <sighs> Are any of those houses Amityville? No. Um, no. My house, no. My house from my childhood, well, my teen years, was haunted. Not my childhood. It was interesting. We talked about this, right? Yeah. Well, not yeah. on. They they haven't heard, but I have. Have yes. they? We've never talked about this, like, on the thing? Uh, no, I don't think it's ever at least made a cut. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm always talking about my haunted house. Uh, it's like yeah, she no, talks I did about her up. haunted house and she talks about her trip to Ireland and that's all she And my about. juice fast all all the time. It's all I can talk about. No, yeah, I grew up in, uh, I didn't grow up in, I moved into a haunted house when I was 
14, 15, 16, somewhere in that time. No, 16. Uh, mm. And it was interesting. And it wasn't, it wasn't just my family or me. It was my boyfriend that really brought it up. So it made things super fun this for outside, that relationship. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I, so I told you about my weird ghost experience, which I now decide, I, I mean, I have a couple ghost experiences. This is one that I go, oh, this wasn't a real ghost thing, but I still can't explain it. The midgets in the doorway saying it's going to happen again. <laughs> Have I told you okay. about this? That is terrifying. That is that is that is some serious. Uh, what is that show um, where they walk? Ugh, that scene where they walk backwards in the red room. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, it's uh, the murder show. Oh no, I, I don't know. Coffee. Oh God, you guys know. I haven't put, seen put, whatever it is. It's from the late eighties. Uh, coffee. Continue. So when I was a kid, and I thought... Twin Peaks. I, Thank you. Oh, I've never seen Twin Peaks, and I want to, because I just watched Dark, and Justin said that there there's similarities, and he wants me to oh, watch Dark. Oh, really? I have to watch Dark. Uh, okay. Not... It's, the similarities are very... I, I can't, I can't tell... I, I don't know. I haven't seen Twin Peaks. Anyway, yeah. when I was a kid, I had at Thank least you, once... In, I think it happened more than once, but the one time... I woke up from a bad dream and I walked towards my parents' room. Now, the way it worked was there was my door, there was a little bit of hallway. We'll go this way. My door, a little bit of hallway, bathroom door, my mom's door, and their bedroom was this way. So I walked across my little, little tiny hallway and went to go into my mom's bedroom and realized, I was like, Natalie, you're too old for this. Go back to bed. This is stupid. And I turned around and in my doorway, there was a midget with an ax <laughs> patting it against his hand going, it's going to happen again. Right? So then I turn around and in my parents' doorway, there was also a midget with an ax going, it's going to happen again. So I turn and I walked to my sister's bedroom across the house. <laughs> like there is a living room, there is a kitchen, there's another hallway down the other side. And I walked to my sister's bedroom and I went to sleep in there. However, when I crawled into bed, I acknowledged, I'm sorry, Lizzie, that she had wet the bed. And I crawled into bed anyway, because I was so scared. Wow. And I remember crawling into the wet bed. I have no history of sleepwalking. I have no history of like, you know, just huh. randomly doing shit. Like, so I... Curled up in my sister's bed, woke up the next morning in my sister's wet bed, huh. and was like, this is better than dying from a midget Than the neck. scary things that happened? Yeah. So, so this is what, so the other day we were watching Dark, and this guy keeps saying, it's gonna happen again. And I was having this little, like, freak out in the corner. I had to explain to Justin, Justin, pause. <laughs> I'm like, oh. so when I was a kid, because I was, like, freaking out, this guy keeps saying, it's just a man saying it's gonna happen again. And I was like... I had this thing happen, and he was like, that's weird. And I was like, you know what, now that I think about it, because I always thought, that's a ghost. And I was like, but a midget ghost? That doesn't make any sense. But now I think whatever it was, whether it was a dream or whatever, it wasn't a midget. It was that I was short, and I made whatever it was on eye level. So it wasn't necessarily that it was a oh. ghost. That I mean, you it wasn't just necessarily made, the midget. It wasn't it was as that, a little person that you just made them smaller and smaller for I, you to deal with it. was with the it. eye contact that was oh, really creepy. Oh, okay. But this whole it's going to happen again situation really freaked me Yeah, it's out. weird. <laughs> anyway. It's weird. So that's not my ghost story because I've decided that wasn't a ghost. Okay. Because it was a midget. And it, otherwise it doesn't associate to anything else that's ever happened in my house. But my right, two right. ghost stories have nothing to do with that. So... We should but. have a whole entire – okay, pitch for October. I say that we have – we build tents I because I, I imagine we're still in quarantine in my yeah. mind. I say you and I build tents in our living rooms and do a live stream and tell our ghost stories. We can do – remember when you want to do the scary stories, like reading yeah. it? We could do that and then, like, make some s'mores, whatever way we can, and then, like, have a little ghost story tell tell live stream in October. How fun would that be? And we will tell I'm our stories. In, I'm totally in if I am allowed to have my tent inside my house and yeah. be not scared. 100%. Because I know, Tara, I already know if we go camping even on my property, no, no, no. I'm going to get freaked 
fuck out. Like no, I, I know, I know you are. The instead of F, but. <laughs> I am going to get so scared. Oh, yeah. I can't. You're bleeping it properly. Feel... You're so drunk you can't bleep it properly. No, no, no. I'm saying it. it'll, it'll be it'll be like it'll be very like uh uh who's afraid of the dark kind of a night. Like you remember who's afraid of the dark where it's like scary yeah. but not scary. And like we're in our own living rooms. It's it's a tent in your living room. Like it's a it's Yeah, a, it's I a will blanket. still get scared. I'm not in my living room. This isn't my house. This isn't my vineyard. This <laughs> blanket tent. I think it'll be so fun. That'd be such a fun live stream to do in I October. I so creeped out. I don't know. I'm what? so, you, you, so Tara, the equal and opposite of you not being able to eat food because your brain gets in your way. I can't. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm scary girl. I can deal with scary. I can't. I know Actually, you can't. It's in your I head. Don't, I hate being scared. I hate, I hate, I hate being scared. What were we watching the other day? Justin and I were watching something and Oh, we watched The Invisible Man. Mm, mm-hmm. uh, the new Invisible Man. Have you seen it? How was that? No. I was, it was it was dumb. But it seemed okay. Um, it was meh, it That's was okay, right. but it was dumb. Uh, oh, I'm ringing. It's Scott Heathcote. Hello, Scott. Bye, Scott. Hi, Scott. I don't know how I'm not on silent. Um, but we were watching Invisible Man, and I was like, "Yeah, I'd kill myself." And Justin was like, "And I was like, no." I'm not going to give him the satisfaction of scaring me anymore. I'm just going to kill myself. <laughs> the game over. I'm taking my ball. Game over. I'm, I'm going dead. Home. You're I welcome. Don't, I don't want to play. And the He's movie like, ended at the 20 minute mark. Anymore. Exactly. No, no, fuck this. You don't get to play anymore. I'm taking my ball, no. which is me, and I'm going okay. home. Repitch. Pajama party. Light <laughs> scare. We talk about our ghost stories, and then we have candy and wine. We have. I'll have candy corn and you'll have whatever candy you want in a tent in our living rooms. I think it'd be fun. Okay. I can do that. I can totally do that. Do you it's, have a tent? It's... No, no, no. A blanket tent. Oh. Like you build it, you build out of blankets. No, I'm going to put an actual tent up in my living room. No, you can do that. My, my urban self will be like, here's my blanket tent made of blankets. <laughs> blanket for it. I will, I will up in this dining room table and make a blanket tent for myself. It'll be great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm oh my god! I'm so oh I'm so excited. We're doing that. That's done. Okay, to, uh, tune in October for the blanket tent. <laughs> it's done. Oh, we're doing it. I love it so much. I love the idea of two grown women doing a, an October spoopy. Is that the word? Spoopy uh, hangout. It's like when it's spooky, spooky but like not scary. It's like spooky but not scary. There's I a word know. for it. Could be the word. I've never heard of that before. I've seen it spelled, but I can't say it. But it's like when things are scary, light. Like you're a little, you're a little like, oh my god, it's a little scary, but not really. It's like a, spooky. it's like a tiny ghost. Yeah. I've never heard of spooky. Everybody says. Yeah, it's like it's like hocus pocus. I've hocus pocus is not it. scary. Like no. it's 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 no, no exact. It's a hocus pocus style, uh, live stream. It's happening. I'm not, I'm not. <gasps> what day? Oh, Halloween falls on a Saturday. Let's do it on Halloween. Be fun. No, on Halloween we should have a costume party. Uh, masks are very cool. Party. Masks are very cool this year. <laughs> oh, I miss parties. I miss hanging out. I miss adventures. Hocus Pocus party. Yes, for sure. I love Hocus Pocus. One of my favorite movies. I've watched Practical Magic like eight times since quarantine. I don't think I've ever seen Practical Magic. Really? I like it. I've never read the book. I bought the book recently because I was kind of curious, like what the basis was, just because I I like the movie so much. Like I, when it came out in the '90s, I remember like really loving it, and so I've been rewatching it a couple times just because I don't know. I like it. It's comforting. It's got country music in it, and it's not. Yeah, I'm like all into it. Shania Twain. Yeah. Shania it's the way Dwayne. you love me. Yeah, it's the way you love me. Anyways, okay, I think I'm I'm, I'm in wrap it up mode, and I will say yeah, why I think so. because it is freaking hot in this room. I'm gonna say we have I've hit had my air well over off. the two hour mark. Oh yeah, has my has mic too- done the raspberry thing at no, all? No, it whole? hasn't. But you should send it back. No, I'm saying I will, but like that's irritating. Yeah, but I'm sending it back. Fun. Send it back. Just restart. This week's shush shush will have some other mic. It won't be this one. Who knows? Who okay. knows? Justin, turn on the AC. All 
All right, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for joining us for the wrap party, the official new thing we're doing called the wrap party. From now on, we'll try and gear these parties closer to the end of the month so we can talk about the end of the month. This is you know, close the dish. to the end of the month. It's one week out. Well, next Monday will be closer is what I'm saying. I was, I was saying that because I thought you would correct me on the fact that it's not the end of the month is all I'm saying. Um, anyways, so uh, rap parties. Instead of happy hours from now on, you're going to notice that we're going to change the verbiage to rap parties. That's what's going on. We will try and find more fun sponsors for you guys to check out. Again, check out Lobo. These wines were really good. Very I'm good. a very, huge very, very fan. I, I'm so... So I'm all relieved. in on this Pinot, and I'm definitely all in on this Pinot of Rosé. That cab, I'm I'm mm. loving that. I've been drinking the cab. I love the cab so much. I'll trade you my cab for your Pinot. Yeah, I'll ship that to you in Utah. It's going to go I'm well. I'm driving in next week. Okay, bring your wine. Oh, and the Bronco you will bring. Hey, that, that Jeep I was looking at was a Bronco. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I was really excited about being a Bronco. I was like, oh, Justin, you work on my truck for me. Anyways. Uh, so, end of the day. Uh, thank you for just hanging out with um, us. Lobo, below, for links. The Craft. Someone asked, what was the movie with Faruza Balk, the witch movie? Oh, Faruza got it, yeah. Craft. Oh, I love Sorry. The Craft. That was an amazing one. Uh, if you still want to grab Lobo, there are still links below. You can grab all three wines for a discount, or you can do a one-off with their Join the Pack discount, which is great. I'm actually going to do that myself and grab more rosé, because I love the rosé. All right. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you Thursday for the live stream, as usual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do one of these. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Goodbye. Bye. Cheers. But now I, I still have, have to take my hand. So have to push it. And I got to go over here. And then you drink the wine. Da, 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 da. And.